okay, 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 what do we have here? Get some people in the chat. Let's get some people in the chat. Let's get some people in the chat. We say, um, oh, oh. while we wait for some people to get in the chat, Doug, while we wait, I need to, Doug, you know what I gotta do? You know what I gotta do? He's gonna say, why don't you make your, why don't you make your, your cup of tea before. I don't make it before because that's usually I'm getting ready to get food to some stuff. So I don't usually make it before, man. I don't. I usually make it after, you know. I usually get it off, make it after, you know. So we're gonna let some people get in the chat and then I'm gonna make myself a quick tea. Doug, you know what to do. Mm. Okay, so let me go make myself a tea while we're waiting for everyone to get in, to get through here. Then we're gonna go, and then we're going to um, get the live started. So let me go make a tea. Doug, you wanna just moderate the chat, and then we'll get straight to it.
What's going on? Does it even make blackboards and shortboards? Let me read. Chloe, you okay with a whiteboard? You know it's serious when a whiteboard comes out. Yes, you know it's serious when a whiteboard comes out. You definitely know it's serious when a whiteboard comes out. All right, let's get, let's get, let's, let's get Instagram up in here. Let's get Insta up in here. Let's get Insta up in here. You know what we're gonna do tonight. Let's get Insta up in here. Doug, you know what to do. We're just jumping on Instagram. You know, you know exactly what we're doing tonight. You, you know exactly what's going down. Let me look in the chat. Let me look in the chat. Chat gang, chat gang, are you ready, yeah? Chat gang, you ready? Don't start the colour talk. You guys have started already with the colour talk. No, no, no. Yes, we're ready to teach. Yes, Dr. China, we're about to teach. It's Monday's night lesson. You know what's about to go on. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We're just pinning, we're just getting um, Instagram inside. We'll let everyone know what's going on. Let me just focus on Instagram in a moment. So, guys, um, we're streaming live on YouTube. You know how this goes. If you want to get the best experience and you want to be able to see the whiteboard and, and get involved in a session in the class, then what you need to do, you need to hop across to YouTube because that's where everything's going to be going on. So, that's what you need to go and do. I mean, today's a new day. Today's a brand new day, and you know, we're back to we're back to regular proceedings. You know, no distractions, no distractions, guys, no distractions. We are back to regular work and re regular proceedings. We are back to no distractions. You know, that's what we're back to. <clears throat> So we'll just let some people get in the chat. So guys, you know what to do. There's the StreamYard link. If you want to join, well, if you want to join the chat, that's the link to join the chat. We're going to put it up and leave it there for the moment. So guys, tonight it's going to be, um, it's that men, men build, women do not. It's all about the men that built the world. Yeah, okay. So what what comes to mind when you think about the men that built the world let me see in the chat when you think of when you think about the men that built the world what comes to mind let me know when someone says to you the men that built the world what do you think what types of men come to come to your mind what types of jobs industries hmm? what type of jobs and industries come to mind when you think about the men that built the world Let me hear it. Let me see some, guys, let me see some. Okay? So that's what we're going to be talking about today. It's Men's Mental Health Month. Someone says, shout out to UK new pages, might sound dumb, but Vikings, warriors, real men in war. That's not dumb, bro. Yeah, 100%. Um, but sorry, I should probably focus a little bit more on 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 modern day but essentially yes yeah they did they did build the world yeah of course uh, but i think we're going to focus more on modern day um but 100 vikings and those people definitely built the world so that's what we're going to focus today we're going to be focused on on the tradesmen well to be fair we're going to focus on every man because all men individually contribute to the group and contribute to building the world okay and to the into the infrastructure that we currently have and that's what we're going to be talking about this evening so guys, um, everyone that's on Instagram, before I get straight into it, I just ask you if you jump across to YouTube, the easiest way is to click the link in my bio and you're gonna see the red circle, we're currently going live and you can jump on there, you're gonna be able to um, join the chat and able to experience the lesson in full. So that's what we're gonna be doing, okay? So um, if you wanna go across there. So, <clears throat> live topic, men build, women do not. In the US, 93.8% of construction workers are men. In the UK, 99% of construction workers are men. 
99% of the plumbers and pipe fitters in the US are men, 98.5% of plumbers are men in the UK. 95.5% of sewage disposal work workers in the men are in the UK and 99.9% .9 of sewage disposal workers in the UK are men. So basically, guys, when it comes to, you know, I'm gonna start like this. So what's the, what's the average? Plumbers. I'm gonna deal with the UK because we're the UK. So I'm gonna construction, we'll start with construction. Construction, right? And 99% men, okay? So that probably needs 1% women. But construction is 97%, 99% men. Um, plumbers and pipe fitters are 98.5% men in the UK. Plumbers. Men. And what else we have here? Uh, sewage disposable workers are ninety nine point. 9% men. Sewage. Sewage. Disposable. Disposable. Uh, okay, so we're going to start with that. So in the UK, construction workers are 99% men, plumbers 98.5% men, and sewage disposable are 99.5% men. So guys, these are some of the industries that, I want to know how many women want to work in construction, well, there's 1% women that work in construction, and um, we can clearly see that with that it's 1.5%, and that's 5% of sewage workers. So we already know that the men that build the world, currently now construction workers, I'm at nine percent then. Okay, okay. So the trend continues in all labour-intensive jobs that are critical for the Western society. With the top ten jobs currently, I'm dominated by men as follows: vehicle technicians and mechanics, ninety-nine point one one nine percent; carpenters and joiners, ninety-eight point nine seven percent; electrician and electric fitters, ninety-eight point two seven percent; metal workers and production fitters, ninety-eight point twenty-seven percent. Plumbers and heating, 98.0.5%. Machine drivers and operators, 97.88%. Forklift drivers, 97.36%. Large vehicle delivery drivers, 97.34%. On strike construction workers, 95.83%. And window fabricators, 96.47%. Now, someone says, guys, someone says, what is your point? This is embarrassing. And this is the thing. Imagine I'm just reading out the statistics, right, of the men that built the world, and someone says, what is your point? Well, if you, if you don't get any feelings and you pay attention to class, you might find out. Uh, that's what happens in class, right? You either sit in and you watch or you get in your feelings. Like, I'm literally outlining the, the industry that men do. It's Men's Mental Health Month. That's my point. And gentlemen, women don't care about your mental health. I keep saying this. I keep... They keep popping up in the comments and just proving that it's Men's Mental Health Month and we're speaking about, I want men to, average men, men that are working, that ne don't necessarily feel like they get seen. I want to highlight what they do for society and the roles they play. And you have women saying, what's your point? That's my point, gentlemen. That's my point. That's my point. You know what I mean? That's my point. No, I just use that as an example. I'm not triggered. I, it's part of the class. I don't, if you say something, and I will answer it. You're just proving my point. It's fine. Welcome to the class. Yes, Free Spirited Girl says, the point is we should recognise the effort and impact that men make in the world. Yes. Yes, we should. 
We should, you know what? Free spirit will go. We're gonna put that on the board because impact they make on the world. Yes, we're gonna put that on the world. Impact they make on the world. On the world. Let's 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 keep on that for a second. Let's keep on that for a second. I like that. Seeing as how somebody wants to disregard what men what men do. Because you said that, um, could you please tell me what you believe the impact of these men is on the world? Like, what their contribution to, to society is? Could you tell me that, please? Thank you. Yeah, that is a bit weird for a woman to say, but it's not really weird. It's just that women, whenever you let them speak, they will show themselves. So it's not weird. It's just the fact that men aren't allowed to, men are not respected. So whenever we speak, you'll have women that will do stuff like that. And it just shows, it just shows themselves. And we use it as, as evidence and we use it to show people, we're having a class here, we're having a discussion, and we're highlighting the men's mental health mark, what men contribute to the world, and you have women, whatever, but it's fine. Like, we love it. We love it. We love it. We love it. That's what I'm saying. Like, we love it. You know what I mean? Like, and because, you know, and people get in their feelings, and I love it, because imagine being on my page, imagine being a grown man or woman, and you're in the comments, like thinking that you can do anything with comments. It's quite, it's quite entertaining, gentlemen. It's quite entertaining. We use it for content. Thank you very much. It says, well done to these men. I've got to go, but big up the good hardworking men who build and support the community. Thank you very much for coming through. Big up the hardworking men that do. Um, anyone that wants to jump onto live, we're not taking anyone on live here. You need to jump onto YouTube. That's where the link is. Um, we're not taking anyone on live here. So if you want to, you need to jump onto the live. Uh, let me see what she says. The impact that we have, things for everyday comfort, and we take granted every single day, like running water, would it be possible without the efforts from them? So, okay, impact on the world, daily lives, slash our daily lives. Where would we be without the construction workers, the plumbers? Where would you be? Yeah. We're gonna list some more jobs. We're gonna list some more jobs. I just wanna carry on reading and we'll list some more jobs. <clears throat> so, let's talk about the top professions women in the West. Nurses and nursing assistants, 97.78%. Legal secretaries, 96.65%. Medical secretaries, 94.91%. Day care workers, 94.86%. Personal assistants, 94.52%, teaching assistants, 90.61%, school secretaries, 90.24%, therapists, 89.74%, housekeepers, 89.74%, dancers and choreographers, 89.42%. I mean, we all need our dancers and choreographers, you know? What, what would we do? What would we do with our dancers and choreographers? What would we do? Guys, it's Men's Mental Health Month, and we're having, we're speaking about the men that built the world. That's all that we're speaking about. Um, and we're highlighting some of the industries and the, and the people that have created the infrastructures and what they do. So we spoke about construction workers consists of 99% men, plumbers 98.5% men, and sewage and disposable workers 99.5% men, and impact of the world and have daily. Okay, so um, so that's what we're speaking about. That's what we're speaking about essentially. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to put on the I'm going to put on the board some more of the um, statistics and for what they do. Yeah, you could go on. I, I appreciate you, you know, like, I appreciate you. Thank you very much. And the men appreciate you. This is what it's about. It's about, it's Men's Mental Health Month and we're highlighting the jobs that men do. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with, 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 with paying respect to the men that build the country, that keep your lights on you, keep your one in water, the men, that take away your rubbish. How do you, it's not women that are, are waking up at five in the morning. It's the men that that take away your rubbish. So why can't we why can't we highlight all the all the men that aren't seen? What's wrong with that? The mechanics. The last time he brought down the car, who came? Was it a woman or was it a man? When you had to get your carpet done, sorry. When you had your when you had your flooring done, you bought your new home. Did women come to lay the floor? Was it men? Hmm? When you had a power shortage, who came to you? Was it women? 
Or was it men? When, your, when winter came and you had your kids and the boiler broke down. Because you know winter, the boiler broke down. What happened? Was it the women come or was it men? When you need your Amazon next day delivery and it has to be picked up the forklift in the warehouse, is it the women pack it or is it the men? So what's wrong, what's wrong with highlighting the jobs in society that men do? What's wrong with that? Because most men do average jobs. So why can't we highlight, why can't we, in Men's Mental Health Month, why can't we highlight um, Yeah, I'll, I'll. Yeah, gone. Yeah, she's gone. Yeah, she's gone. She was doing too much. She's. We know who she was. You know, we know who sent her here. She was doing way too much. She gets blocked and she goes. She was trying to mess up the class. I saw that. Thank you, bro. That's why you're the. That's why you're the moderator. So we're gonna write down the job that. Um, I'm going to write that the job, like I said, the job that the men do, and, you know, we go from there. So, carpenters and vehicle. So, vehicle technicians, mechanics. Okay. Okay, cool. So I just put some of the um I just put some of the things that I read out just on the board. So we're gonna create the board on the other side. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put some of the jobs that um the women do and they contribute to society. What I want you guys to do, I want you guys to give me some suggestions of jobs that men do, um, especially jobs that I haven't put on the on the board already. Now there's no chaos tonight, bro. People, I'm, I'm, I'm taking a class. I'm taking a class tonight. No woman should ever be saying they don't need no man because we do. We need good men and strong loving men in form of fathers, uncles, brothers, cousins, friends, and of course, husbands. Well, I know. I mean, you say that, but I mean, I, I, I agree with you. I agree with you, I do. I fully agree with you. So the impact on the world, on the daily lives. Where would we be without our construction workers? The home you're built, the home you're living currently in, it was built by 99% men. 
probably the one percent most probably a surveyor that was a woman, probably along those times, or or in those secretary roles that we spoke about. Your plumbers, when you need to get your plumbing fixed, it's ninety eight point five percent men. The sewage disposable workers are ninety nine point five percent men. The mechanics that fix your car when you break down the side of the road. I've never ever had a woman that's ever picked me up a car. I wouldn't mind it, but I've never had that before. Because um, essentially it's 99.9% men. Carpenters and joiners, 98.9% men. The metal workers, 98.2% men. Plumbers and, and heating, 98.5% men. Uh, machine drivers and operators, that was 99.8% men and window fabricators, 96.4% men. I have some more stats there, but I'll create some, I wanted to keep some space for some jobs where you can just throw up that men are not necessarily seen. Um, but yeah, so as part of Men's Mental Health Month, I want to highlight on the on the men that built the world and, and, and you know, the impact on the world, as one of the, the ladies in the, the chat said, we should focus on the impact of the world and our daily lives. And I think, especially during the last few years when we couldn't leave a house, you started realising the limitations and you started realising who actually brings what and who contributes what and what jobs were needed, right? You discovered very quickly if your job was, um, if it was, you know, like if it was, if your job was needed, essentially. Some people, jobs were not needed at all and you discovered that quickly. So you didn't have, you know, and a lot of these guys never stopped working. You know, because at some point, all of these things, construction was still building. They were still building. They didn't stop constructing during the, during that time when we couldn't leave. Plumbers, people still, plumbers were still plumbing. People were at home blocking up. Um, the writing is backwards because you're on Instagram and you're supposed to watch it on YouTube because you're not going to be able to get the full experience. So please click the link in my bio and you'll see us on streaming live now. You won't get the full experience. Yeah, big up silent business. Welcome to the chat. Good evening. Thank you. Welcome to class. That's the fact. Women need men. The more women accept that and admit that, the better off we will. Yeah. Um, but sometimes we need to highlight what men contribute. Imagine this. I'm highlighting what men contribute to society. So this is about highlighting what men contribute to society, especially during a time when, you know, it's getting towards the end of the year. Um, there's many people that are single that are going to be lonely by themselves during Christmas time, um, and it's 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 an important time to make people not like a lot of people work through Christmas, you know, like like just so you guys can stay at home during Christmas, like just because you you don't celebrate Christmas or you celebrate Christmas, a lot of other people still celebrate Christmas, but they have to work because without them you wouldn't be able to have your Christmas. So I think it's quite important that during a time of you know we should highlight the men. That, that, you know, that built the modern world. And there's nothing wrong with that, you know? Like, I think we should focus more on that, those types of things. I'm going to... So let's talk about what's the industries that the women do. I did mention it. So let's talk about the women. See, women... Put women over here. We put women over here. Women, yeah. The men that built the world, and we have the women there too. Okay, so we're going to focus on um, the the jobs that women do, and the stats, and and what they contribute. I'm not, you know, and this is not about saying who. It's not about saying oh, men do more than women. No, it's not about that at all. It's just simply highlighting the different industries and and and. You know, men that built the world essentially. Because sometimes people always talk about, oh, oh, without men, this, this, and that, this, that, and the third. But without men, we wouldn't be able to literally have a lights on anything, right? So, and then we're gonna take a, we're gonna take calls afterwards and we'll talk about the significance of of what people present. Yeah. Okay. So let me quickly do this. Nurses. Nurses. 
97 Ninety seven point eight percent equal six. Equal six. Medical, that's 94.9%. Take care. Take care, workers, 94.86%. Take care, workers, personal assistance. Um, schools, teaching assistants, therapist, um, therapist. Eighty nine point seventy four percent and service housekeepers doctors choreo. Okay, I just wanted to get that on the list first so that when we do the next part, it makes it slightly easier. Thank you very much for waiting. Let me see. Uh, let me read the chat. Let me go through some of the chat that I missed. We have our woes and strength. We need to go against societal ideologies. Got that right. The society portray single as the way of forward being self-sufficient too much this decade is the lowest birth that's why they are closing schools like not in london both are vital to survival of human race if not done in the right way i agree i agree okay so women nurse the the women the industries that the women occupy nursing 97.8 percent legal sec secretary at 6.65%, medical security 94.91%, DK workers 94.86%, personal assistance 94.5%, teaching assistance 90.1%, uh, therapists 89.74%, housekeepers 89.74%, and dancers and choreographers 89.4%. So, women, that, that's, so you can see we talk about we've got construction workers over here, we have plumbers, we have students. Now, I mean, Okay, nurses, that's, yeah, nurses, you need nurses. Well, not, you need all of these jobs. But essentially, we're just, it's not about, it's not about tit for tat, it's not about saying this is that. No, it's about just recognizing some of the jobs that men do. And they tend to be some of the most backbreaking jobs, tend to be some of the jobs that are going to get out in the cold, um, you know, jobs that are going to take you away from your family, dangerous jobs, you know. Uh, physically grueling jobs. These tend to be the jobs that men occupy. Okay? So, this is just simply about recognising the roles that we, we we do as couples. Especially, you know, guys, like, you know, women as well. Like, if your man is in any of these industries and we're speaking about how hard it is, it's men's mental health more. Maybe just go up to him and say, yo, I appreciate what you do for me. You know? I understand how hard it is outside there. Maybe she's going to go up to them. Maybe we're going to do that. I don't know. 
But let me get straight into it. All the professions dominated by women would not matter if the power were to go out or if the zombies were to rise from the grave. Think about that from a point of view. All of these jobs would not be matter if the zombies came out or point of grave. See, not all jobs are dominated by women are not needed. But I would also argue that women bring toxic traits to male-dominated fields. In general, men do not care about things that women care about in the workplace, such as loving your job. That's a privilege, not a right. This thing where you have to love your job. You know, most people don't love their job. Most people hate their job. Most people ain't happy about their job. Most people hate their job. Yeah, most people hate their job, yeah. Um, and this whole, whole, this whole notion of loving your job. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> The whole notion of loving your job is um, is slightly crazy, right? Diversity, equity, and inclusion. None of that contributes to the profit of the company. So these tends to be things where that men, you know, men, diversity, equity, and inclusion are not things that men have ever tried to strive for in the workplace because we understood how it was. You had to go in there, you had to battle. That tends to be something that they've created, and it tends to be one by women. You don't tend to have diversity people that tend to be men. That tends to be quite an uh, industry that women would do. Um, um, she says, I disagree. You spend most of your time at work. You may not love your job, but a toxic environment can kill you due to stress. Look, that's how women think. A man, a man thinks that I need to go out there and I need to keep the bills or I need to keep the, I need to keep the roof on top of my head, the lights on. When you've got a, a wife or kids and you don't get to be like, you know what? I don't like this job. It's too stressful. You need to go and provide. Like, yep. Guys, well, a guy doesn't have to like his job as long as he likes the fact that the job is giving him the means to be able to support his family. Yeah. The guys that go down in the sewers, the guys that are up on the roofs, the guys fixing your car, none of these guys love their jobs. Like, when did that become a requirement? The, the, most men, we just want to make sure that that... We're getting everything out of a job that a job is getting is getting out of us. We, we we want respect and we want the means to be able to provide for our family. Women are the ones. I just don't like this job. I have to quit. It's like, what do you not like about it? I don't know. I just don't. I'm just not happy with it. Who says that you get to be happy at a job? Who said? And ask what? most men. Most men. We don't go into the workplace to change the world, to be happy. We go into the workplace to be able to provide for a family. That's what we do it for. Yeah. Um, workplace flexibility, that's a privilege, not a right. See, so the fact of you being able to have your work to, you know, sometimes bend for you to create things, that's a flexibility. It's not a right. And most men understand when we go into an industry, we're not, we can't change it. We don't have any equity within it. We just go into a set up position and we're going to try to climb up. But you will get a lot of, you know, tends to be women that'll get into industries and then they will, they will try to change it and complain about the structure because it doesn't fit to them. But men just get in there and we know that, look, this is how it is and we kind of have to do it. So that's and, one of the... In China, yeah. the that's why 50% of resumes with their pronouns on them are thrown, are, are thrown uh, in the trash because uh, people, particularly women, they want to come into... Uh, uh, see, men will go into a workplace and see how they can fit into the workplace culture. Women will go into a workplace expecting the work culture to, to, to change around them. They'll be at the bottom floor and be like, none of this is right. I'm here now. You need to change all this. Mm. No. No. Nope. Sorry. Um, women only advance programs. That's sexism. So, so a program where women can only applicable to only women that are that have been put into place for only women in work that is sexism it is it's kind of like i'll be honest with you i mean it's like when they say oh yeah there's a like we're trying to get more black people technically it's i mean it's positive discrimination isn't it so i, well, I, I don't know you hear something crazy I, I saw the other night so uh the, someone someone on the youtube channel i don't remember who but they crunch the numbers of all the black people that had had, uh, had won an Oscar, yeah. and it, in America, black people make up thirteen percent of the of the population. And the, they did the math since the the first black person won an Oscar in the sixties, and the, they've given out Oscars. Uh, thirteen percent of the Oscars have been given to 
to black people. So it matches the population. Isn't that crazy? Crazy. Taking time off. Men take less time off. And I think, we, I mean, we definitely don't get... Wait, do, do men get maternity? How long do men get men? It's like, how many weeks is it for men? It's like four weeks or something. I think it's like, I can't remember. I know men do get some maternity leave or some, some type of, I don't know what you call it, some type of leave, but it's like, I think it's like a weekend and they got you back, back in. I can't remember how long it is, but yeah, um, women take more time off than men due to, you know, women have more issues, you know, when it comes to the men um, and they take more time off than men and that's just what it is. And mm -hmm. you need to make allowances in your, in your business for things that women need, you know? I'm going to toss out a, a couple of more factoids I learned uh, on my channel. So, for every one C-suite executive, CEO, CFO, COO, so chief executive officer, chief financial officer, or chief operating officer, yeah. for, for every one man that quits, two women will quit. Okay. There's, there's a trend in corporate America where women will spend their 20s, on the, the early 30s, getting to that executive management position at some company. And then because the work is so grueling and hard, they'll want to quit and go do something else that, that, that has more of what you just listed. Workplace, yeah. workplace flexibility, diversity, equity, and inclusion, time off, all that stuff. It's so true. Right. This just paints the picture that men build society. They work the harder jobs, they work longer hours, and are the ones who sacrifice themselves for God, country, community, and family. I'm going to put that on the board um, just for what men do. And whenever you're ready, I have a, I have a, a news clip. Uh, we can sit and watch it. And it'll start to show you after 30, 40 years of a society telling men that you're toxic, that we don't need you, that women are better. You have millions of men in the United States, working age, who just who, who just aren't working anymore. They're just not. The main driver behind men sacrificing our, our bodies, our spirits, our souls for God, community, country, like it, it, a lot of men, they just don't have the, the motivation anymore. And why would they? You keep telling men they're toxic, they're bad, there's something wrong with us. So you know what? Those guys, why, tell me why a guy would would get up on roofs 280 days out of the year, go in the sewers 300 days out of the year if he doesn't have a family to support, if he doesn't have, you know, if there's no, if society is telling him he's bad, mm. Why? So um, let me share this here. You can watch like the first like four minutes of it. Yeah. Because it's actually really good. Let me share this. One second. Uh, here we go. I hit the button uh, on that. Yeah, cool. Got it. Okay. Uh, you guys, you guys, you guys, so you guys ready? ready? Yeah, let's go. Go. Uh, but we're going to begin this hour with a not so problem topic. We're talking about jobs uh, and a major hiring crisis. It's a problem. We're here and older than the recognition too much about. It's a problem not confined in the unemployment rate, which is, of course, near record lows. And it's because a large number of American men in particular, men in the prime years, are actually not working. Look at that 7.2 million. And this is, this is a 2023 report, guys. 7.2 million are just like, no, I'm done. No. And they're not even looking for work. The result is a bit of a mystery and also a major hole in the American A bit of a mystery. So people in our spaces, we know why. It's from what I said. We're toxic. We're, mis we're ma -ma 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 misogynist. Women are so much better. You know, no one cares about mental health. No one cares about men's issues. So we're just going to unplug. My name's Mike Rowe, and this is my job. Of all the jobs he's done over the past 20 years... Now get ready to get dirty. And Mike Rowe has done them all as the host of Dirty Jobs on Discovery. From machines to dump. Well, now it's Dirty Jobs, isn't it? The hoses that suck. Jeez. He's never claimed to be an economist. Thank you. 
But while taping the series during the Great Recession of 2008, he did notice something important. All anybody was talking about was the number of people who were out of work. But on dirty jobs, even then, everywhere we went, we saw help wanted signs. It turns out dozens of real-life economists and other researchers have a possible explanation. A long-term decline in male labor force participation. Or as one think tank summarized it, men not at work. This is a men problem by and large, right? Seems to be. Look back to the 1950s and 98% of men in their so-called prime working years had a job or were looking for one. That number has fallen ever since, to the point where today, more than 7 million men have essentially dropped out of the workforce. We've Ma. given a lot of people a lot of options. What's that, China? No, it said mad. 7.2 million men said, F it, I'm not working no more. I'm yeah. And, and China, I want you to think, what motivation do these guys have? What? Why? You know, the, the, and and women are going to call these guys lazy and losers and stuff, but these guys can say the same thing women do. You know, I'm trying to find myself. You know, I want to be an Instagram. Maybe all these guys are, are trying to be YouTubers or Instagram influencers or pursuing their dreams of being a painter or, you know, or doing some, uh, or or, you know, freaking burning sage and chakras and stuff. Hey, maybe. Who knows? We got the but, chakra and sage burners. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the worst part about it is who are like, who is society to be telling men, th these men who, who, who have dropped out that they need to work? And that's another problem. You have, you have society and women in particular looking down on these guys. Why? I know I don't. If you can make it work, you know, if you don't want to spend your 20s working some job that you, quote unquote, as women like to say, hate, don't do it. Mm. Okay. okay, let's keep going. Yeah, run the clip. And incredibly, one of those options is do nothing. Yep. Do nothing. Ro and I met at Empire Metal, a fabrication and finishing shop in Queens, New York. And where, much like manufacturing shops nationwide, finding skilled workers like these is a growing challenge. We have more jobs than we have people for. About one and a half jobs for every one worker. Jay Timmons, who leads the National Association of Manufacturers, describes all this as a profound problem for the companies he represents. 99.9% .9 of them will say that their number one challenge right now is being able to fill those open jobs. So you are here as a representative of more than 14,000 manufacturers in these United States. And the number one problem for 99 out of 100 of them yeah. is filling jobs. Yeah. I never thought I'd be able to say that. Isn't that crazy? The, the, That's crazy, wait, isn't he, it? He said he's got 1.5 jobs for every one person. So Yeah, like, uh-huh. So it's like it's extra work if you want to do overtime. <laughs> yep. And... <laughs> and let me say this. I don't, I don't know how women romanticize working in China. In the United States, we have what's called the Occupational Safety and Health uh, uh, Administration, and they create federally mandated safety guidelines that yeah. all all businesses have to follow. But, but, but that was 1972. And not only that, but like um, before the 80s, America was like 80% uh, manufacturing and agriculture. When they started outsourcing uh, manufacturing in the eighties, uh, America is like I think it's like a sixty-five percent service service economy now. Yeah. But back when women were like in the home and stuff, and we're talking about how you know men get to work and we don't. Most men, eighty-five. 80% of men were in, in in factories, like you saw in that little clip before, yeah. putting things together, working long hours with, with their hands and stuff. There's only a small percentage of men who worked in these air-conditioned offices. And now 65% of us work in offices, and all of a sudden women want to come out and be like, I have a job. Yeah, yeah. And even back in World War II, people were like, oh, yeah, women worked – factories only about 28 percent of women worked the factory jobs in world war ii it was still majority men but we have this thing where women just took over all the factories no it was never more than 28 percent all right let me keep going but 
I'm sorry, man. I, I get hype about this because 47 percent of American men work infrastructure jobs. And the fact that so that 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 a woman who's a social worker or she works in HR at some company won't even look a plumber's way. Are you crazy? Plumbers make good money out here, man. Yes, they do. Uh, I've offered that. Just, man. Uh, doing plumbers, man. They just be plumbers be making good money. Yeah. Plumbers make good money, man. Let's pick up all the plumbers. Plumbers make good money, man. Let's not act like plumbers. Do you know why? Because uh, when you when you they'll pull up, they'll do one little pipe. And they'll be like, yeah, 180 pound piece. I'll be like, bro, you was five minutes. What do you mean 180 no, pounds? No, China. <laughs> I just moved from the, the, the Washington, D.C. area. For for a plumber to step foot into your house is $300. For him to step into your house, $300. Yeah. Yep. All right, let me keep going. Now it's kind of an all hands on deck. We've got to fill these jobs that are open. And there are nearly 800,000 of those jobs open right now, according to the latest federal count, a number that surged in recent years as companies reinvest in American-made products, or try to anyway. And with manufacturing workers earning more than $30 an hour on average, Timmons says the problem is not pay, but perception. It used to be dirty, dark, and dangerous. Today, it's very sleek. It's very technology-driven. And that's what we saw when we visited Electrosoft, a company outside Philadelphia that makes circuit boards for everything from missiles to submarines. So over there is the quality area okay. where we do first piece article testing, final testing. But CEO Carla Trotman says they could be doing more if only she had the workers to do it. How many people work here right now? 30. How many people do you wish worked here right now? 45. So you have 15 yeah. people that you have jobs for, yes. but you can't find them. Cannot. How much money in lost business Ready? is there in not being able to hire the people that you want? Around 5 million. Bro, I pause that. She's losing 5 million. 5 million a year. 5 million because my number said F that. We're not trying to work. <laughs> She's got jobs and they've said, listen, we're not trying to work because they, they've lost their motivation to work. They're like, why are we going to go and do these jobs for? We don't have to. Like, and you know what? That, yeah. That's a lot of effect to society. Like, it really does. And and you know what? I, I'm going to drop the link. And, and everyone, let me, you know, make sure to call in after this in the call-in section and let us know what you think about th this subject. Do you blame men for just unplugging? What do you think about men's motivation? What have you seen anecdotally when it comes to how these type of men are viewed and how these types of jobs are, are viewed? Ladies, would you rather date a, a blue collar worker? Do you have friends who look down on, on, on blue collar workers? Let us know. Join the conversation. So this has about um, a little more to go. So let's see. Yeah, play the rest of it, thank you. In top line revenue. Five million. Yeah. That would be here, and that presumably you'd be paying taxes on. Obviously, And that would yeah. go into people's pockets and would be going out into the broader economy. Yeah. What is your theory about where those 15 people are right now? I honestly have no idea where they are. She suspects some people may be sitting out because of a recent change in the way many of us look at work. I think it's fulfillment. I think it's culture. I think people really want to feel as though they are appreciated. I mean, Beyonce's song, she said, release your job. A lot of people release their jobs. <laughs> they don't, and they realize, I mean, it's an overall feeling of being fed up yeah. and being taken for granted. But there's more, according to one economist. Some non-working men face a skills mismatch. A third have criminal records, making them ineligible for many jobs and making employers hesitant to hire them. And many rely on safety nets, such as disability. So you may wonder, what are these guys doing instead of work? Well, kind of what you might expect. Spending nearly seven hours each weekday, on average, relaxing, playing games, and watching TV. Good old PS5, baby, let's go. So how is it, from where you're sitting, from your understanding, that people can do nothing all day and still have enough money for a bag of chips. Oh, well, it's almost as though some entity is paying them. It's almost as if somebody is not letting them fail. It's, it's as if some giant parent somewhere. What's that? 
The government's probably like them checks. They like f that. They got the checks. They got that welfare. Mm -hmm. Or because remember, the, the, this is right after the cough cough. So yeah, yeah. You know, a lot of you know ex wives and ex husbands moved in w w with each other. A lot of people moved back in with their parents. A lot of parents moved in w w with their children. And remember, for two and a half, th two what two years yeah. during the you know. <laughs> A lot of people, couples lost their jobs and they had to figure out how to make it on on one income yeah. or less. Yeah. And now that yeah. you make and like a lot of guys who like lost the, uh, uh, their jobs, they're like, I don't want to go back to this soul crushing work. Why? Yeah. Why? Yeah. I'm gonna try. You know. You know. I'm gonna try and do. You know. I'm gonna try to pursue my dream. You know. Who knows what that is? But you know, I'm not gonna look down on these guys' decisions because. You know, this is gonna give. Hey, hey, ladies, you know what? This factory is hiring. Yeah. Apply. We're not gonna see them do it. Yeah. I get real touchy about this subject, man. I really do. Where has an uncle maybe could be a rich uncle? Yes, could be a very wealthy uncle. <laughs> or it might come down to values. As many public schools have stopped offering shop class, many students have stopped even considering jobs like the ones Roe has spotlighted. Dirty or otherwise. It goes back to the stigmas and stereotypes and myths and misperceptions that are keeping guidance counselors from talking about opportunities like this to the kids in their care. It's. Yep. You're supposed to go to college out of, uh, you know, just to, to go to university and get your, what are the, what are the five uses degrees that, that women normally get, China? Uh, psychology. Sociology, sociology, social work, social um, work. Uh, criminal justice, is a, some kind of studies degree. So, so gender studies, African American studies, Asian studies, liberal arts, what human resources. That? I don't know, man. Marketing. <laughs> hey, HR is the most pointless job. It's for Karens. If you work yep. in HR, you're Karen. You're Karen. If you work in HR, you're Karen. If you work in HR, you're Karen. You know right. what? Oh, let's real quick. For free spirit, Chloe, you don't know why they're useless because only 9.5% of women in the United States are getting science, technology, engineering, and math degrees. Yeah. So there are hundreds of thousands of women every single year getting these degrees, and the market is saturated. If you get a bachelor's degree and a master's degree in social work, you're going to be about $100,000 in student loan debt. And social work, Tops out at fifty six thousand dollars a year. Mm. It's, it's, uh, psychology, unless you get a PhD, you, 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 you're making forty five thousand dollars a year. S sociology, all of the marketing, these are all jobs where you're not going to make. In the United States, seventy five percent of Black women make less than fifty thousand dollars a year, even with all their degrees. That's why they're useless. You may be saving the the community and helping people and stuff, but you're not making any money. That's the problem. And a lot of women, they want titles. They want to be some diversity and, and inclusion director or something and have all these titles, but you're not making any real money. You're spending all these hours at some nonprofit helping people, but you're not getting paid to do it. That's why it's useless. Those so things that are keeping parents from putting all the options on the table. How big of an issue is it to have this many people sitting on the sideline? It's only a matter of our national identity. I think it's a giant issue. And by the time we realize how big an issue it is, we're gonna have a hard time turning the temperature down. Fascinating story. Seven million men. And they're watching seven additional hours I was of TV say that, and relaxing. Yeah, that day. figure got me. Are, are, the, are the women in their lives or the partners in their lives work? See, here comes the shaming. So this is where it gets a little bit political. People on the right will say these guys are just living off government largesse. They're getting disability. They're benefiting from aid, and that's got to be reformed. But people on the right and women do that. And women still live off more benefits than men. Single moms and freaking Section 8 housing. Freaking even with these 7.9 million men uh, uh, not working, 
men still pay the majority of the taxes and women still get most of the benefits. So they need to stop capping. On the left say they just need to be trained up. And yeah, in the meantime, they're living at home or they're depending on partners. You, you, you mentioned this uh, skills mismatch and it just made me think, you know, my grandfather was a machinist, which is a highly skilled job. Not anybody, you have to be trained to do that. Mm -hmm. And I don't know a lot of machinists now uh, in, in 2023. And I wonder if people are being trained for that. And he mentions Mike. So Shots Micro has a foundation called Micro Works where he does. Anyway, so 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 that's the end of it. Yeah. Right. So Free Spirited Girl says, so money is the metric just to make money. So teachers who are some of the lowest paid workers are, are useless. Yes. Yes, it is. In this current economy with freaking inflation and all that stuff, you need to think about money first. Get your you need to have your castle in order first before you help other people. One of the biggest problems with a lot of women, especially black women, is they want to help the community and do all this stuff. And their personal life life is in shambles. Don't help people until you've helped yourself first. So, yes, Jeffo. money is the metric. Money is the metric. Jeffa, um, if you want to jump on, um, use the link and, and jump in via... YouTube is better because you're going to see the full board and that's the actual camera I'm looking at. It's just streaming it so people know when to, where to watch it and I can answer your questions better and you can jump in with the live if you've got anything to say. So guys, I'm going to drop the link inside the chat. Um, if you would like to jump, if you would like to, to jump into the chat, into the live and have a conversation, we can speak about, you know, just what we've been speaking about. Get, you know, if you want to say your appreciation for the things that men do for free. If you want to add some jobs, um, you know, that that we've missed. If you want to tell some stories about some of the jobs that you've done as a man and some of the hours that you work, yeah, let's speak about it. So that's the link there. I've dropped it down. Feel free to... Feel free to... Yeah, yeah. I get real touchy with that because... When I was mentoring my mentees, you know, there are just so many young men who were just like, like, oh, I have a nephew, he graduated high school in China, and he has no idea what he wants to do with his life. His girlfriend, who's a year younger than him, oh, I, I'm going to be a, I, has her whole life, society has empowered her to plan her whole life out. And, and my nephew and all of his friends, they don't know what to do because they don't receive any kind of encouragement. They're just floating through life. And this is society's problem. You know, it, it used to be we used to, to, to hold men to a higher standard, to, uh, uh, tell them to achieve, but uh, that's all perceived as patriarchy because apparently women have to achieve now. But what are women going to achieve? It's not going to be the 47% of, of, of people working infrastructure jobs. Women in mass are not going to be laying concrete. They're not going to be putting up drywall. They're not going to be cutting down wood for freaking... Um, furniture that's just not doing it. THFC says, Where would society be if everyone thought like you? I don't know what does that what does that mean? I think they have, they have to explain what do you mean if everyone thought like him? Where would society be? He must have he he or she or, or they must have just got here <laughs> because oh. they, they didn't see the last five minutes how there's a labor shortage of men just sitting at home and society is suffering because of it. The jobs are open, and the women aren't aren't stepping up to the plate. Wait, wait, wait! It's a selfish way of thinking. Feminism has created a selfish society right now. Women are selfish, so men be selfish too. Protect yourself. Protect your family. Women, you know what? Men being selfless was called patriarchy. So yes, we live in modern women have created the most selfish society in the West we've ever lived in. And guys, if T I'm sorry, go ahead. you want to no, I was gonna say, do you want to join into the chat? You're talking yeah. like welcome, yeah, welcome, to the, welcome to the chat. But the link is there if you want to join in the live stream. Feel free to join in, and you could um, art, you could challenge him on that. Um, you know that's what it's here for. We've created a platform where. People oh guys! Up. Oh yeah, I'm I'm Doug in PA by the way. <laughs> Make sure to give my channel a, a follow if you like what I'm saying over here. And you know, you know, yeah. I, uh, I I support China, the, the man's voice. He is literally the, the the realest one out there, out there uh, uh, in the UK. So.
But TFC, if you want to jump on and, and have a conversation, feel free to jump on. You're welcome. Um, um, you know, because whenever I see people have a conversation in the chat, it's always a good opportunity to jump in the chat. And, and but it's the link. The link is there if you want to jump in and have, and have a conversation. Feel free. So let me uh, let me stop sharing here. Okay, I'll pull that off. Yeah. But yeah, I, I want to people, you know, men, we just, what what motivates men to do the jobs that you, you listed on the board was, you know, I always say 80% of men out there, the most satisfaction they're going to get is putting themselves in a position to be able to support a wife and children. And there are guys who will who, who will do laborious Instagram is about to cut out if you want to carry on watching the live stream you need to jump use the link, link in the bio go to YouTube because the first hour that's on Instagram and then that's it it cuts off okay these guys will do laborious dirty jobs for 30 40 years as long as as he can come home you know, kick his boots off. His wife kisses him on the head, has a hot meal waiting for him, and his kids, daddy, 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 hug him on the legs. He'll, he'll, he'll go to bed, get back up, and do it all over again. But, like, with with the the, the prospect of, what, 50% of women, I don't know if it's the West or the United States, are, are going to be single and childless by 2030. Like, 57% of men polled said that, that they want to get married and have kids and and only 28% of women said so. If a man doesn't have the the, the traditional uh, motivation to do these jobs, why would he do them? Why? Facts. Why would he? Mm -hmm. Why would he? Why would he bother doing them? He wouldn't. He wouldn't. He just wouldn't. He just wouldn't. He just wouldn't do them, bro. Guys, anyone want to jump into the chat? We got some, and let's speak. Women, women, come on, let's speak about what your contribution, man. Yeah. Free let's, spirit. Let's if you want to jump on, Chloe. Free if, spirit. If, if, wait. If you free wanna jump spirit. on. Jump on. THFC. If you want to jump on, feel free to jump on. Talk real officials in the chat. If, if you want to hop on, yeah. Certified 2020. Yeah, hop on. Just let us know. You know, it doesn't even have to be a, a debate. Just let us know your your uh, uh, experience about this subject. You know, do, 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 do you see a lot of now hiring signs um, uh, in your area? You know, if you're, do you see women on on, on construction sites where you are? Do, do you have any friends that are women who work laborious jobs? Because I have a friend who always puts posts about, oh yeah, I'm, I'm a woman in construction. I'm a woman in a male-dominated field, but she's a civil engineer. She's not swinging the hammer. She's not driving a tractor. She walks around with her little, uh, you know, uh, white hat on and checks stuff to make sure it's you know, it, it meets federal and state construction guidelines. But she puts all these posts holding a hammer and with her little thing on, like, look at me, I'm in construction. You're not doing the dirty job though facts yeah certified hop on i'm a trained marine engineer and international captain now certified you need to drop on there mm -hmm. we need to add that on the board that's some shit train train marine engineer and international what is that what is that what is that he needs to explain you know what how many Marine engineers. Marine, uh, yeah, let's get stuck for it. Are women. Ninety two point three percent of marine engineers are men and seven point seven two percent are women. So stop capping. Stop. Uh, what's ninety three what? Uh, no, ninety two point three percent are men. In 2022, there are 15,554 marine engineers. 92% are men. Statistics are up. Are <laughs> statistics are, are such a great thing, aren't they? <laughs> okay, says he does. He deals with boats. Okay, he said he can't come on right now. Okay, no worries. Thank you for adding that one. 
Mm-hmm. Um, Craig Marine engineer, that's 92, 92.3% of men. That's, I can imagine that working on boats, fi- fixing boats, that's not something that, you know. Yeah, big up you, man. Yeah, like, I didn't even, you know, how did you get into that? You studied for that? You went uni for that? Let me see. What are the requirements? Is that good money? I mean, I don't think many people can fix boats. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I think it's quite specialist. I think it's quite a specialist industry. You have to be highly skilled, right? Yeah, it says you, you need a bachelor's degree in marine engineering and naval architecture. Respectively. Yeah, see? You have to go uni in that. You have to study. You have to study something. What is the average salary for a marine engineer? Okay. About, you know, about seventy-five to 110000 a year. What's that, dollars or? Uh, dollars. Let me see. Uh, in pounds. How much is that? So, um, oh, whoa, hold on now. <laughs> He's like, whoa, what happened? <laughs> He's like, whoa, whoa, hold on now. So, they make a lot less in the UK, man. Average salary. And the UK is about um, 44,000, 45,000 pounds. That's, but that's good in the UK, you know. Is it? Okay. Yeah, 45K is good. <laughs> Remember, you're doing American adjustment. That's oh, yeah, okay. 45K, yeah. You know what we can do? So so go to, go to your list, right? Yeah. And the jobs you have listed, uh, let's put the salaries, average right, salary. Cool. All right, cool. We'll do that. Let's go. So who's first, men or women? Uh, we'll do women first. Okay, so nurses. Average salary for a nurse yeah. in the UK. Okay. So according to the ONS, come on now, all these pop-ups and stuff. Uh, according to the ONS, uh, starting salary for a band five NHS nurse is twenty eight thousand four hundred seven. Hold on, but look, look, let me find the it, average. It goes up though. It goes oh, up. Average for for a nurse is it's about thirty seven thousand pounds. Uh, thirty seven k. Yeah, cool. Um, so that's for like a that's for like a starting nurse. I don't know what band five and band six means. It just means that different levels in the NHS, but we'll just deal with that. Um, legal secretary. Okay. Uh, uh, let me take one more spot for this nurse thing here. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Correct that. Average. Um, average. <laughs> average nurse salary is forty two thousand seven hundred and fifty seven. I don't if think we, so. Man. I'm well, gonna stay with 37k in the UK because I know nurses and they're not walking around making. We're gonna stay with 37. <laughs> okay. We're gonna stay with 37k. Okay. All right. Next one. Um, legal secretary for a legal, legal secretary. secretary in the UK. Okay. Is 23,353 pounds a year. 23k. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, medical secretary. Twenty-four thousand two hundred and twenty-four pounds a year. Twenty-four k. Um, daycare worker. Wait, 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 wait. Certified twenty twenty says being a woman is difficult on the ships because it's close range with men consistently. It's a male dominated field. What do you freaking expect to happen? Like, how is it difficult being around men and a male dominant? See, th- see, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Women will come into a male dominated field and expect reality to warp around because they're a woman. No, no. Daycare. How much you go for daycare? How much they make for daycare? Okay. Okay, daycare worker in the UK. Yeah. Ooh, thirty-five thousand eight hundred and twenty-one pounds. Are you? Are you? Are you sure? 
Yeah. According to, to uh, Indeed, a daycare worker in England, 35,821. They, they have to pay you more for these bratty-ass kids, man. Well, yeah. <laughs> it, you spend, like, a quarter of the time sick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, personal assistants, PAs. Uh... Person assistance, PAs. 27,738 pounds a year. 27K, yeah. Uh, cool. Um, teaching assistance. Uh, it says, okay. Dang, 12,527 pounds a yeah, year. Yeah, that, that, yeah, that's usually quite a, a low-paid job. 12, 12k, yeah. Uh, therapist. Therapist. They make um, 37,677 pounds a year. Um, okay, 37k. 37k. Um, housekeepers. Housekeepers. Um, they make um. Wait, it only has per hour on here. Let me see if I can find it. Cause they make housekeepers on average make ten, ten eighty four, ten dollar, ten pound eighty four an hour. So let's do ten point eight four times one sixty times twelve. So that's about 20,812. 21K. Um, doctors and choreographers. <laughs> Isn't that like a, that's like a special <laughs> industry. Good evening, Elizabeth. Welcome. Thank you. Receiving the chat. Welcome. Welcome. Okay. They make. Okay. Dancers make 25,657 a year. Pounds, when you tell us they want to be a dancer, you just tell them no, because they're gonna have to end up in a strip club trying to connect them. No, <laughs> you know what they, they're gonna do OnlyFans. Forget that. Twenty five k. No, my daughter's not been a dancer. No way. And then choreographers make thirty five thousand seven hundred fifty nine. Okay, thirty five k. And World War Two, they just got paid in rations. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, rations. Okay, cool. Um, let's 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 hop over to the men's. Construction workers, what's the average wage for a construction worker in the UK? What's uh, the average? What's construction the average? worker. Construction labor is 24,755. Okay, plumbers. Uh, let me see. They make twenty-one pounds an hour. Let me do the math here. Twenty-one point four three times forty. No, wait. Twenty-one point four three times one sixty times twelve. So they make about forty-one thousand one hundred and forty-five pounds. Yeah, and the rest, mate. <laughs> Plumbers kill it. Forty-one k. That's a good wage. Um. Sewage disposal guys, they must get some good money because ain't no one doing that shit. Literally, that is. They must get good money. <laughs> Literally, they have to pay them well for that. How much are they getting paid? Sewage workers, disposable workers, how much are they getting paid? They must get paid quite well for that. Well, let me see how much you sewage workers make in the UK. Okay. Um, a sewage oh. disposal worker makes, uh, what? Hold on. It says they, they make twenty four thousand eight hundred and ninety nine pound a year. Uh, a year, yeah. Twenty five k. That's sewage worker. Twenty five k. Mhm. Mm um, mechanics. 
Hundred K, yeah, mate. <laughs> they crooks. Um, how much mechanics make a year? Average base salary is is the thirty six thousand seven hundred and eleven pounds. Yeah, thirty seven K. Yeah, not bad. Thirty seven K. Yeah, go on. Carpet is not join us. Okay, uh, let me see. One second, you guys. Carpenter. Okay, so they make about... Do the math on this one, too, because they only have it hourly. I guess most of them work per hour. 21 times 160 times 12. So they make about 41,798. 41, Forty-two k. Yep. Um, metal workers. Oof. Yikes! That's low. <laughs> How much is that? I have to do the math. One second. <laughs> He's like, damn! I have to work it out. That shit's low. Oh, it's um. So. Thirty-three thousand seven hundred and forty-two per year. Okay. Thirty-three thousand. Thirty-three k. Plumbers and heat. Um, plumbers and and heating. Heating specialists. Plumbers and heating heat. I put heating contractor. Yeah, heating contractor. Let me see. How much, how much are they on? Put that on, please. Thank you. So these are the guys that like mess with the furnaces. <laughs> yeah. All that stuff. Yeah, these guys make a lot. Let me just double check. How much do do how much does a heating worker make in the UK? So I also think this is good because when men want to talk about how they want to make make their money, at least they at least they're gonna be like, oh, they know what type of jobs to pick. Yeah, these guys make uh so HVAC. I don't know if that's the same thing, but on a heating contractor, yeah, makes like oh wait. Okay, it says with highest paying cities for heating contractors. Is in England, but it says average salary is sixty four. Nice. But that can that be right? Let me see. Might be. Yeah, plumbers and mate, I got friends that plumbers and they make they make six figures a year. So yeah, that's yeah, cool. like and that's in the UK. They make hundred k a year. So and they're plumbing. So um, I can believe that sixty four k machine, uh, machine drivers for operators. <laughs> so um. Forklift operator. Man, yeah, yeah, this is low. Oh, man, you guys, yikes. 12 <laughs> an hour. 12.46 times 160 times 12. So they make about 24,000 on average. So they're right at the average. Let me see. 24K, yeah. That's the average. 24K, yeah, yeah. And that's before tax, so that's a bit peak still. Um, 24k window fabricators. Also, want to put um, HC lorry drivers. We need to put that. What's the stats for lorry drivers and HGV? Uh, you said load drivers and what? Lorry drivers, you know, HGV like truck drivers. Oh, we do that. Truck, truck driver, HGV, he heavy goods, heavy goods vehicles. Okay, so that's a little better. Yeah, let's put let's get the for that because I know that's they do. Good. Um, uh, the average is thirty-seven thousand six hundred and ninety-six pounds. Yeah, that's what I thought. Thirty-eight k. Thirty-eight k. Thirty-eight k.
and you know, respect to all these guys doing all the hard work that keeps society running, man. Because yeah. you know, I. <laughs> I have friends that they've been blue collar their whole lives, man. I, I had a friend in when I graduated high school. He, his dad had a drywall business, and he had, I always remember, you know, uh, I'm showing my age here, but he had a um, a 300 ZX Nissan twin turbo when he was like 20 years old, had his own apartment and stuff. But he got up every morning and he put drywall up every single morning in the cold and the sleet. In the hail, I was like, bro, like, and he's still doing it. He's been doing it for, since he was 19 years old, and we're yeah. the same age. So, it is thing still. Yep. Definitely doing his thing. Definitely doing his thing. Um, anyone, if anyone wants to join the conversation, you can. I'm going to put the link there again. Yo, Cap. Welcome to the chat, Cam. I see you. Welcome, Cam. Guys, it's Cam that sorry I'm late. Guys, that's the link there. I'm gonna go board a, I let me board the kettle, kettle again, and hopefully, Doug, we can get some more people that are gonna, um, you know, we can do a few conversations. But <clears throat> then I'll get Instagram back in. I will, I will go through this. I think. So no, I, I think also this is a good framework for men when you want to know where to get the money, and this is not even about. This is just about industries that men can get into, just get stuck in. And a lot of these industries, you can. You know, you could be, you know, you can look, you know what I mean? Construction, plumbers, shoes, and mechanics, carpentry. A lot of these industries, you could take an apprenticeship and get yourself in. You know, you may have to study, but a lot of these industries are good old fashioned and they, they need it. You know, and they get this. These are the men when we speak about women disregard. These are the guys that built, you know? Um, so. I have, um, I have one more video I can show about um, blue collar jobs di disappearing. Yeah, you and can just play, play the video while I make my tea. Go play the video. Okay, while let I'm... me share it. Present, share screen. Uh, okay. All right, hit the button and then, and then I'll play this while we're out. Yeah, cool. And make sure to jump in if you guys want to talk about this subject. Once again, you know, do you see, you know, do you see a general disrespect for for working for blue collar men? You know, do you have female friends who 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 wouldn't date a plumber? You know, let us know. And welcome back to the Factor on Sense of New re Research. More than 500,000 new jobs were added in December, but around 7 million men between the ages of 25 to 54 aren't working. Those are the men who have been in those historical blue collar jobs. Those who are using their hands and sweating too, like many of our dads of the past. Joining me now to talk about this discussion is Dr. Dietrich von Biedenfeld from the Houston, University of Houston downtown and Michael Gutierrez. So first of all, Dietrich, what has happened to those workers? And I hate the fact that they act like they have no idea what happened. What happened? Why aren't men working these jobs anymore? They should be asking, you know what, where are the women at? Women wanted a chance to do all this. So step up to the plate, ladies. I want to see you with a hard hat on, gloves, putting up drywall, laying down concrete. Where are you at, ladies? There were 7 million uh, American male workers who have just kind of disappeared, not applying for jobs, those blue collar jobs. They're still there, but there are a number of factors, particularly in the legal and socioeconomic areas where A, the stigma of staying home isn't as um, challenging as it once was, where, you know, a guy uh, with the perm is, uh, you know, it's <laughs> de rigueur again, so it's okay. And additionally, we've added additional compliance standards. So 90% or more of convicted felons and criminals are gonna be male versus women. And so mm -hmm. as we add documentation checks and things like that, some of those jobs that people were able to do just for cash on the side or just because of their skill set, uh, doesn't matter if you have a couple DUIs, doesn't matter if you're behind on your child support, now it does. Mm -hmm. And so that pushes more men out of the workforce than women. Michael Gutierrez. Are and, and like I said, ladies, there are less men in the workforce than women. So ladies, sign up. Put your put your application in. You can be driving a forklift, driving truck right now, making lots of money, but women ain't doing it. Are there companies out there suffering? Look.
Hey, Frenchie, good to see you. The Pink Ranger's here. Let's form the Megazord. Let's go. Looking for these workers that are not available anymore. Uh, they are. Or who are not applying anymore. Yeah, they are, but they're getting wise. They're getting wise to the point where they're starting to believe in growing their workforce. So they're looking at building apprenticeship models that often run through the trade councils or through the uh, local community colleges where they bring these individuals in to train them and have them experience the careers. I think what we're also experiencing is individuals identifying where they're spending their time mm -hmm. and a lot of them are saying it may not be in this job i need a career so while it's interesting to note how many people are not working See, and college has framed these jobs as jobs but that social work degree where you're not going to make any money that's a career you know either you're going to get a degree in marketing that's going to lead you to a career guys most people work jobs now doug in pa a career is something that you're so passionate about that someone can cut your pay by 30 percent for, for six months and you still keep showing up i don't know a lot of people that would do that most people have jobs they work there so they get paid to live that's it but this whole like i'm gonna have a career most people aren't gonna have careers most people aren't going to make a difference. They're just not. Not everyone's going to save the world. And I didn't, most men, we don't go out into the workforce to change the world. I think that most women do. Most women, I'm going to be important. Ladies, you're not going to be important. Most of you aren't. And us men, we understand this. We are not going to be important. We're going to be important to our friends, our family, our children, our community. But that's it. Women have romanticized, I have a career now. No, you don't. You do not. Working? Why? You know, when you look at the businesses over in the last two years, 10 million businesses have been applied for. So maybe they're going into entrepreneurship. Maybe some of them are deciding to go. You know what, Chloe? I, I'm going to squash that right now. Let's see how much social work. How much does a social worker make in the UK. Oh yeah, she's right. They make 48,621 pounds a year on average. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I stand corrected, Chloe. I stand corrected. Go back to school because time is so precious and I need to finally get on that career track. Will the American job market and system sustain without them? We're talking about 7 million men. No, I, I don't think it's possible. And I think we see the pendulum shifting just where the Parisian City Council had to write a 100,000 euro check because it was an all women council. We're, we celebrate diversity, but now we have more women medical doctors in the profession than men. We have more women graduating college than men. And so a lot of our outreach- And women are graduating college and remember only 9.5% of science, technology, engineering, math students are women. The en mechanical engineers, electrical engineers, you know, uh, computer science are all men. Women are getting degrees and stuff that does not contribute to the infrastructure and does not contribute to the, the, the bottom line um, of profits of a company. Reach in the community college and apprenticeship programs is now geared towards men saying, please come back to the workforce. Now, oh, please, men, come back to the workforce. We called you toxic and we freaking m 2 would you guys and, and you know, and and uh and are making you put your pronouns in your emails but guys please come back to the workforce get out of here no way will the men come back michael in your opinion because so many of them found themselves or in, in their minds victimized and pushed out i i think that with the men to identify what is their true career whether it's going back to school to getting the technology that they were missing to continue to grow with oil and gas and instead they were laid off and then some individuals like i said are even getting behind their wives to help those wives start businesses and help with what's going on at home so you're just seeing a different dynamic shift and uh, these businesses are going to continue to look for individuals but it's always important for them to grow their own workforce absolutely thank you boom there it is Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Anyone want to come up and join the conversation? Right, we'll it's, yeah. 
Is Doug and PA just talking crazy over here? You know, you know, is China's list just out of pocket? Join the conversation. Because I'm telling you, us men, they've told these men that they're not worth anything. You know, you know, a lot of them can't get dates. A lot of them will, will take a woman out and say, I'm a plumber, and she'll laugh at them. You know, you know, I, I can't tell my friends I'm dating a plumber. I have to date a guy with a PhD that speaks three different languages. You know, you know, or or he doesn't have a Lambo or he doesn't have all this stuff. And it's just like you you live in freaking a small town in freaking Pennsylvania. It, you won't date a plumber? Are you serious? I know. Are you serious? Doesn't make any sense. All right, Doug. I'm good. Doug. I'm gonna go to full. I'm gonna go to full screen now because I'm gonna um, just quickly run through this. If you want to hop in, all right, the brother. Chat, go ahead. Then, uh, yeah, anyone in the chat? Thank you very much. Always glad to help. Thank you very much, brother. Yeah, big up Doug for that. You know, Doug always comes through. Big up Doug MPA over there. Thank you very much. So, guys, if you wanted to jump in the chat for free, um, the link is there. That's the link. Thank you very much for jumping in the chat. <clears throat> and I want to go through the list. I'm going to just get Instagram on. I'm going to go through the list quickly. And remember, this is this is this is this is about this is about recognizing the contribution that men make to society, particularly the jobs that the backbreaking jobs. And I think also. The fact that we will outline how much some of these jobs make, I think it makes it quite, it, it makes it quite easier when people want to look at industries, you're like, right, what do I, I want to make money, right? And, and these are, and these a lot of these industries are industries that you can get trained in, you can become um, an apprentice and you can work your way up. Um, so for everyone jumping on Instagram, we're currently streaming live on YouTube. It's the best way to consume the content. Um, and tonight's live is on the men that built the world. It's men's mental health month. And we're focusing on the men that some of the jobs that go on unseen. You know, we spoke about construction workers, the plumbers, the sewage, the disposal workers, the mechanics, the carpenters, the joiners, the metal workers, the plumbers, um, and the heating workers, the machine drivers, the window fabricators, train marine engineers, the truck and the HGV drivers. We did, and we also spoke about um, the impact on the world the long hours that men have to do, the sacrifices that men do, go toward the daily lives and for the family. And as, and you know, we want to, thank you, let me quickly pin that. Um, I think we should, you know, we should, I wanna highlight, because it is Men's Mental Health Month and some men go not seen, you know, and especially as it's leading up to Christmas time, I was talking about the men that do jobs that, create the, you know, while you're going to have Christmas and you're going to be there, you know, think about the people that allow you to have something to do some of these things. So and we also talk about the jobs that women do, nursing, legal secretary, medical secretary, daycare, personal assistants, teaching assistants, therapists, housekeepers, the dancers, choreographers, and we also spoke about their, their contribution during World War II. And we spoke about that. So, so that was a brief introduction to it. So I'm going to go through the list and I'm also going to go through the percentages and we're going to speak about the, um, how much each job pays as well. So the men that built the world is men's mental health month and we're going to be focusing on those men. So guys, if you're on Instagram and you want to see the full, full stream properly, you need to hop across to YouTube. The link is in the bio. Everyone that's watching this on YouTube, please like the video, like the video. If it's the first time you're in the chat, then make sure you subscribe. For all our regular guys, please support the channel by hitting the super chat button. It's quite simple. You hit the dollar sign and it allows you to donate to the channel. Um, we have three separate membership tiers. Uh, the first that starts at the price of a cup of coffee. So if you'd like to join the membership tier, like I said, it gets you access to a lot of things that we don't post on YouTube. Okay. And, um, you know, we have, like we said, turn on notification bells. So it lets you know we're the first person when we drop the content. So you're the first person to see because, you know, we're always creeping and dropping content. So with that being said, let's get straight to it. So guys, the men that built the world. So let's start with construction workers. 99% of all construction workers are men. So all of these jobs on the, on the left-hand side are men, on the right-hand side are women. So 99% of construction workers are men. They have an average of 24K a year. Plumbers, 
are 98.5% men with an average income of 41k a year. The sewage disposable workers, 99.5% are men, 45% being women, are roughly on 25k a year. With mechanics, which are 99.9% .9 men, I've said that before. I can't remember the last time that you um, you, you 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 had a mechanic that that fixed your car as a woman, but if you did, I'm not sure. I don't think you would mind, but it's just 99.9% .9 men. Anyone that's trying to request to join on Instagram, we don't take any live callers on Instagram. If you want to join the chat, then please um, hop across, use the link, and then hop across to YouTube, and then you can get into the chat, okay? Thank you very much. Um, so, yes. Uh, so, carpenters and joiners, 98.9% .9 of them are men with an average income of 42K. That's a good job. Metal workers with an average income of 33k, with 98.27% being men. Plumbers and heaters, night and, and heating specialists, 98.5% of them are men, and they average on 64k a year. So, man, then if you're thinking about a good job, if you're thinking about a good job, yeah, big up Chin says MC Chin says nice work. Thank you, Chin. Chin, if you want to be a part of this and you want to actually jump on live, then use the link in my bio or just do what it says there. The easiest thing, click the link in the bio, it'll bring you to my video, and then you just um, see the circle, and it'll bring you to the main chat on YouTube. And if you want to jump on the live, use the link there, and we can get you on the live stream, okay? Thank you. Um, so, so yeah, so, guys, if you want to get into a good industry, like the plumbing industry and the heating specialist industry, it's 98%, and, and it average on 64K, and this is in the UK. So... You know, if you're thinking about a, <laughs> an industry you can get into where you're going to make good money, then definitely um, plumbers and heating, that industry, 64K. Uh, machine drivers, that's a lot low. Machine operators, like forklift truck guys, that's like averages 24K, and that has a 97% um, with men. Window fabricators, I don't think we, wait, I don't think we did um, a, uh, an average for that, um, but I think the window fabricator was around, it was around the 28K mark. Just put around 28k, 28k, and with 96.4 percent of them being men. Um, the trained marine engineer, we had a trained marine engineer that's working on the shipyard, working on the boats, um, in the marine yard. That's average, uh, well, that has 92.3 percent men that do it, and it has 45, they're averaging 45 percent, 45k a year. And the truck, lorries, H heavy, HGV. Heavy goods vehicle drivers, the average of 38k a year. Um, that's definitely, you know, I know some friends that do that and they make good money from doing that. And these are just the average. Of course, you can make a lot, a lot more money, but essentially, these are just the averages. Okay. So, guys, you know, you have to ask yourself, especially when we had the last few. Um, what's the top topic? It's it's the man, the men that built the world. So we're just speaking about men's contribution to to society, particularly it's men's mental health month. And I want to highlight on some of the jobs that men do that help to build the modern world and we don't realise and a lot of the times we disregard this. And on top of that, we also want to like highlight some of the some of the wages that men get. So if you are trying to get into an industry, then essentially this is kind of good because it kind of like it lets you kind of know, okay, what can I get into and how can I make money? Um, and it's just highlighting that the jobs that men do and because this is not about men versus women, of course not. No, it's just men's mental health month and I want to show to the men that necessarily people don't don't highlight we want to speak about it and we also want to show people industries that particularly that they might be able to get into so if you want to consume the content the best way to do it is on instagram sorry on youtube and you just jump and do that but essentially that's what it is um so let's speak about women and what the types of jobs that the women do so we've spoken about men and we've spoken about the types of job that men do so let's speak about women and let's speak about the types of job women do so nurses are 97.8 percent women with an average of 37k legal secretaries are 96.665 percent women with an average of 23k a year medical secretaries 94.91 percent with an average of 24k daycare workers um 94.86 percent with an average of 35k that was a lot higher than i thought but i guess some of you guys don't want to look after your kids so you're going to pay other people to look after them i get it i mean for real like I know childcare is one of the most expensive things. People that people that own nurses, they're the real big. They got money, man. People that own nurses because you wanna you're gonna spend money to put your your child somewhere safe, right? 
especially somewhere that you know is good. So anyone that owns a nursery, they're actually making money that, like, to be honest with you. That's a good business. Personal assistants, 94.5% of them are women with an average of 27K. Teaching assistants, 90.6, 16%. And that's like 12K. But you've got to remember, teaching assistants, I think that's kind of like when you're at uni or when you're kind of learning the role. So it's kind of like, I don't know, it's loss, It's not like a full-time job, I don't think. Or it's like a lot less paid because you're just assisting the teacher and you're learning. So that's why it's 12K. Therapists, the 89% of them are women with an average of 37K a year. Housekeepers, 89.74% of them. Cleaners, you know, and hotel staff, hospitality, they tend to be um, around that mark of 21K. Um, it was per hour, so we had to calculate it and we based it upon that. Housekeep, uh, sorry, um, dancers and choreographers, 89.4% um, of them. So on average, if you're a dancer, on average, it's only 25K a year. And, and if you're a choreogra choreogra choreographer, it's about 35k a year. We spoke about women in the World War II because, you know, working in the factories, that was one of the times that I highlight the times that the women worked in the factory. So we spoke about that. Um, but only 28% of the women actually worked in the factory during World War II. And, you know, when we spoke about what they got paid, they got paid rations. And guys, so that is essentially the men that built the world and along with obviously the women that are inside of it as well and help because we need both of it. I mean, somebody, okay, so let's be real. So in the last few years, we had we had the madness that we had the, <coughs> we're not gonna speak on here because of the algorithm, right? Okay, what jobs were needed? What jobs were needed, right? All right, so if the zombie apocalypse comes tomorrow, right? If the zombie apocalypse, if the zombie apocalypse, okay. If the zombie apocalypse comes tomorrow, okay. When my, um, the zombie apocalypse comes tomorrow. If the zombie apocalypse comes tomorrow, what jobs will be needed? Who, who will be needed? Let's talk about this. Yeah, let's talk about this. Okay. All right. Let's talk about it. Build security shelter. If the zombie, if the zombie apocalypse comes tomorrow, right, and there's a zombie apocalypse, right, what jobs are going to be needed? Who will still be needed? Like, if it's the end of the like, when that in the last few years when we had that, <coughs> okay, what jobs will still be needed, guys? What jobs will still be? So what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna look at on both sides, right? And we're going to talk about, and this is not about, this is not about oh, putting jobs against each other. No, it's literally just about understanding what people contribute to society, particularly that is Men's Mental Health Month. And I also want to just talk about the, the key jobs. So we've got both of them on the side. And on top of that as well, it also gives you an indication of industries you can get into. And maybe you think, because sometimes we get into stuff because of passion. You might like dancing, but you discover that it's only 25K a year, unless you're a choreographer. And then obviously, if you if you go if you're like a social media person, influencer, and then you you um you know you 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 like you like you you have a big profile, and yeah, you're probably gonna you're probably gonna you know blow up like and make more money. You know, fighters, yeah. Like you know, okay, so let's talk about it. Construction workers. Because we can add some more if there's any jobs that I've missed, but I just haven't got the I haven't got the figures on there. So if there's any jobs that I've missed, you can you can add them. If there's any jobs that I missed, you can add them. Chat gang, are you alright there? YouTube. Chat gang, okay, cool. So um what we're gonna do is what jobs will still be needed? I suppose the if there was an end of the world zombie apocalypse, they will still need people to build. Well, you definitely need people to build. You need to be, you need people to build. So you're going to need construction. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little star. Actually, I just put a Z. 
You're going to need construction. You're going to need plumbers. And then the world comes, you're going to need plumbers, systems, especially when people are having to, um, especially when people are having to relocate. Yeah, you're going to need plumbers. You're going to... Jimmy says, do you think the majority of modern day women will understand their natural roles? Uh, no, not the majority. I think many women understand the natural roles, but I don't think the majority, Jimmy, I don't think. So, Z, yeah, you need plumbers. You need plumbers. When In the last few years, when everyone couldn't leave their house, it was locked up, plumbers were still working. You still need people to take out the trash. You need people to take out the trash. If you don't have trash disposable, you, 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 you get rats, you get disease. You need people to take out the trash. Okay. Mechanics, you need mechanics because you need vehicles. If this is like the end of the world and it's Mad Max, you need vehicles, you need vehicles, so mechanics. Carpenters join us. Carpenters, that's not just about carpentry, that's about woodwork. You're gonna need them. These are all building, this all goes into the construction, but this is individuals, you'll need them. You might need someone to build your tree, you might need to be, build a house right up in the trees because the zombies are right down underneath. You will need them, you will need them. You will need them. Yeah? Cool. So, the metal workers, you're gonna have to cut up sheets of metal, weapons. Yeah? You need to take the head off the zombie, you need the sharp weapons. You're gonna need, you're gonna need, you're gonna need, you're gonna need metal workers. So everything will Z, you know, Plumbers and heating. End of the world comes, power shortage. You're going to need people to able to get you heating. You're going to need people that know how to create heating. Yeah? You're going to need plumbers and, and people that know about heating. Yeah? End of the world. Trucks. You might need... Listen, you, do you not have to drive a truck if there's just one there? The zombies have killed off another guy and he, the truck is there. Can you drive the truck? Are you having this stream to educate women? No, this stream is to educate everybody. It's not, it's not, I mean, this is not, this is not, it's not segregation. It's not, <laughs> this is not all women, men only. No, we have women in the chat that are literally in the main chat that are speaking to us and jump on the live. No, it's, it's just talking about the men that built the world. It's Men's Mental Health Month. And we're putting that content that is going to, you know, highlight what the men, you know, especially av average, look, these, they'll say average men, but these men are not average, they're making good money. Yeah, lots of them don't understand this. Yeah, shout out to TG, TG, I see, bro. He said, this is the one-on-one best uh, basis simplified since we yeah, this is just simplifying it. I mean, this is just trying to show on a very simple level because sometimes people really disregard what men do. And like I said, we're all average men in a sense, you know? And what's wrong with being average? Why is what's wrong with being an average man? What's wrong with being an average man? Look at all these great men. Look at what they do. They built society, yeah? They built society, so what's wrong with that? Let's go. Um, I don't know about window fabricators. I don't know about that. Train, train marine engineers. I suppose, you know, if, if there's a zombie apocalypse and we get to the boat, boat yard, I would like to have one of these guys on my team. I would. I would like to know a guy that knows how to fix boats and drive right. Because you always see in the end of, in the, look at even in Bird Box, in the end, you always have to get on a boat. You always have to get on a boat. So I would prefer if I had one of these guys around. I think in the zombie apocalypse, um, I think, Jimmy, you don't have to do that, Jimmy. Just click the link in, Jimmy, go click the link in my bio. We'll take you to a video and you see the circle. Um, just literally, Jimmy, come, um, Jimmy, step out of this chat, click the link in my bio and it'll take you to my live. It's quite easy. Um, so yeah, they'll be needed. Like, yeah, I would need, I want to train marine engineer. To be fair, 
If the zombie apocalypse comes, you want to train marine engineer. You do. Because those guys, if you can fix a boat, you can fix a car, you can fix probably fix a plane. So you might want to keep one of these guys on deck. So that will be needed if there's a zombie apocalypse. Okay, guys, so technically, every single job there, apart from the window fabricators, I said would be needed if the end of the world was zombie apocalypse. Technically, these were all of the jobs that were still that was still in operation during the big cough cough. I'm not going to say it because of that algorithm, right? So, um, yeah, love. Uh, TG9 says, anyone wanting to watch, search, search my name is China on YouTube. Thank you, bro. Thank you very much for that. Um, yeah, so these are all the jobs that during the big cough cough were still there. Yes, Jim, J Jimmy says he, um, he can see the, or Jimmy says he can see the board instead of IG. Do me a favor, once you step into the chat, if you could please like the video. If you haven't subscribed yet, this is the opportunity to subscribe to the video. Please subscribe. Thank you very much. Welcome to the chat. And yeah, it's always good when I see people from Instagram pop across now you can see the full board. Uh, okay, so these are all the jobs. So essentially, all these jobs, construction, plumbers, sewage disposable, mechanics, carpenters, joiners, Metal workers, plumbers, and heating specialists, machine, uh, machine, I didn't put those on, uh, train, train marine engineers, and truck and HGV drivers. Zombie apocalypse, the big cough cough. These are all the jobs that, that are safe, that are needed, that will help society move. These are all the jobs, right? And these men are great men, and we need to highlight and we need to highlight their contributions to society because these are the men that built the world, okay? So let's, let's go across to the women we spoke about. And the percentage of women in these jobs and we spoke about um the the average income so now we're going to talk about what jobs will be needed in the end of, in the end in the end of the end of the world scenario right zombie apocalypse scenario the big cough cough we just had that okay cool nurses all right well every there was clapping for them every thursday right there was clapping was clapping for them every thursday so they will be needed in the zombie apocalypse you're going to need nurses yeah so Nurses are needed in the zombie apocalypse. You're going to need nurses. What's the next job that, that women do, right? Legal secretaries. I'm going to keep it real. Do, in Dawn of the Dead, Dust to Dawn, there was no legal secretaries. There was no legal secretaries. You're going, you don't need any legal secretaries. The men that built the world. We're speaking about the women now, right? Medical secretaries. I'm going to keep it real. In the end of the world scenario, zombie scenario, apocalyptic scenario, we don't need any medical sec secretaries. We don't. We're not. We don't. We don't need any medical secretaries. Administration, we don't need any of you Karens. We don't. We just don't. Sorry. Daycare. Daycare. End of the world scenario, we really need daycare. People looking after their own kids. So there's no time for daycare. There's no time for daycare. We don't need daycare in a zombie zombie scenario because you need to look after your own kid before the teacher gets bit, bit and then bites up the whole class. Now you've got a class full of little zombies. No, 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 no. Um, personal assistance. Come on, guys. I don't, listen. The only personal assistant I need is a big chopper and a big strap for when the zombies come. Headshot straight only. That's the only personal assistance I need. Sorry. Teaching assistants. Now they're just taking the mick. Guys, ladies, what what possible use are any of these industries if the zombies are coming to attack? You need to you need to make it make sense for me. We just spoke about all the different things that the men can contribute. Yeah? But right now, ladies, you're making it hard for me. I'm trying to support you over here, but you're making it hard for me. <laughs> um, Sata SJ, she said it's so true. I do nursing and it's all, all. <laughs> it's also a Karen. Yeah, I know what. Listen, I know what nurse. I've gone there. I know what's in there. I've seen the women there. Bunch of Karens. Yeah, bunch of Karens, man. Bunch of Karens. Women, help me because I'm trying to figure out what we need this for in the end. Because remember when, <coughs> when the big cough cough came? They want <laughs> what teaching assistants. <laughs> Therapist? Okay, what, what, what I'm going to say, uh, they're going to sit me down and it's going to be like, oh, what happened today? Oh, you know what? I had to dodge a couple 
<laughs> a couple of zombie brides today. It's mad. I had, to, I had to cut off the head of the zombie dog, a little zombie baby. I'm just killing every zombies. Like, I'm stressed out. I'm stressed out. I'm stressed out. What's she going to say to me? We don't need any therapist in the in apocaly in apocalyptic scenario. We don't need any woman therapist. We don't. I'm sorry. Housekeepers. Ladies. What house? We're keeping it. We just told you we're on the road right now. We don't need any housekeepers. We don't need any housekeepers. What are you going to do? Dancers and chore... Nah, you guys are just... You guys are bantering me now. You said dancers and choreographers. You said dancers and choreographers. Nah, you guys are bantering me. What are we going to do five and six and seven and eight? What are we doing with five and six and seven and eight? Like, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You're going to moonwalk your way out of... What, out of the zombie apocalypse? You're not, you're not going to moonwalk your way out of the zombie apocalypse. You're not going to shuffle your way out. What are you going to do? Do the zombie shuffle? No, 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 no. Um, Summer says, we need women who can cook and bake on a real wood, on a wood fire, not, not cook up. Wait, does that, Summer, Summer, is that part of housekeepers, Summer? Wait. Summer, does that come under housekeeping? Because if it does, then they can... Then I can put them in the zombie apocalypse because we do need people that can cook. We do, we do. We need people that can cook. We need women that can cook. We need women that can cook. Summer, let me know. Summer, because let me know. Do we, are we putting housekeepers? Because when I thought of housekeepers, I thought of like cleaners and I thought of people that did my bed and I like I didn't really think of cooking. But it's true. It's housekeeping. Does co does, does cooking come under housekeeping? Summer saying yeah, it does. The men that built the world, yeah, that's what it is about. If you missed a little bit of it, I'll go through the list earlier on. If you want to watch it in the best, um, the best way to watch it is to watch it on YouTube and you just got to just search it. We need the basic woman to survive. We do. Okay. All right, guys, stay in the chat because what we're going to do is, because I didn't fill it up. So what I did was I did some of the list. So if there's more that you guys want to add, we're going to add some of those. Okay. So let me just go through the end and then... If there's more women you want to add, okay. Summer says that housekeeping includes cooking, so housekeeping is gonna get put in the zombie. So okay, cool. Summer says that. Big up summer. Thank you for that, summer. So summer says housekeeping. I, I, I get that. I was looking at it from cleaning and stuff. I was looking at it from a cleaning aspect. Um, suit and tie is back. Yes, we're back to regular proceedings, my guy. Big up Shade Shade Lizzy. Um, so Summer says, okay, cool. But I said dancers and choreographers. I, God, what do we, can someone tell me why we would need a dancer and a choreographer in a zombie apocalypse? Because you're not going like, can someone just give me one reason? Let me see how, let me see how creative you guys. What would we possibly need a dancer and a choreographer in the zombie apocalypse? Shay, Shay Blizzy, oh, she's, I'm a girl. Oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry, um, Shay Busy. Entertainment, I don't know. I don't think so, man. I don't think that, I don't think, I don't think there's gonna be much entertainment in a zombie apocalypse. I don't think so. I don't. Step on zombie man. <laughs> Log on, step on zombie man. Aye, oh, you're a joker. Um, no, but that's not gonna go on there. It's funny though, but I'll give that to you. That's rather funny, but unfortunately I can't, I can't do that for you. But but that was funny. <laughs> Let me see. You trip up dancer, so the zombie will get them while you run away. You trip up the dancer. Nah, man. The they say that maybe the, the dancer will teach you how to be light on your feet. Maybe the dancer, but I'm not sorry. It's, it's not gonna get in there. I'm sorry. Um, okay. So let's talk about some. Let's talk about some some jobs that I've missed then. For the people that are just joined the chat, for the benefit of you, the men that built the world, construction workers, plumbers, sewers, disposable, mechanics, carpenters, joiners, metal workers, the plumbers, the, um, the heating contractors, the, the machine drivers, the window fabricators, the train marine engineers, truck HGV drivers, right? We spoke about those jobs. We spoke about the percentage of them that are men, which are highly percentage as part of Men's Mental Health Month. We're highlighting these jobs that we are. We are giving these men their flowers. And on top of that, we're speaking about if the end of the world came, zombie apocalypse, what will be needed? 
and we and we spoke back to the last few years when we couldn't leave our house and we said what jobs were still did your job could you did you still even do your job or did they hit you with the third low they hit you low would they would you get paid to chill at home if you was your job was not needed it was not needed it was fake but if you were still outside they told you your job you was an essential worker yeah and the zombie apocalypse is coming pause we need some essential workers yeah, we need some essential work. Are you ladies, are you an essential worker? Let's talk about it. Let me add some more jobs. What men, guys, what jobs? Let's let's talk about it. And then, like I said, we just went for the women now. What jobs? <clears throat> Let me hear some suggestions. Suggestions, please. Suggestions, please. Um, Shea Blizzy says, we proper need men, man. I work amongst men and I'm telling you, I couldn't do their job. I'll break my back. Thank you. Shay, what do you do? What do you do? Pick up the women, Shay. Shay, they're going to call your pick me. They're going to call your pick me, Shay. They're going to say, oh, what do you mean you do the same jobs as men? Pick up Superfly TV. He says, you know what's sad, bro? These people get the, the least recognition in society. Back in the day, they were our providers. Yes, Superfly. This is the thing. These men do get the least recognition in society, but not from us, not from us. We see them, we respect them, we, we, we are them. So why would we not respect these men? Of course, these men are providers. In the, back, in, in the old school days, these men were the men. These were the guys. They're still the guys, but society doesn't hold them up as the guys. Yeah? Yeah? They're more concerned with telling men they need to cry to their girls and open up their feelings. That's what they're saying. They don't want, they don't, women don't want providers no more. They don't want men to go out there and provide. They want men to cry and open their feelings. What's that going to do? Go out there and make some money and, and feed your family and provide for your wife. If she chooses not to work because she wants to focus on the kids, can you provide a life for her? Not because she doesn't, not because you stop her from working, but can you give her the luxury of not doing that? And I think most women, not all women, but most women would like the luxury of being able to actually, you know what, maybe I don't want to work, work. I want to sit with my kids. Then maybe I'll, pick, I'll go to work later. But if I've got a man and he goes out there and he provides and he does that for me, I don't have to worry. I know a lot of women that would do that. I know a lot of women in that scenario. It does not mean you are not intelligent. It does not mean you cannot go to work. It just means you've got a man that says, yo, I love you so much, you don't have to go work. And if society has finessed you to make you think that waking up at five or six in the morning so you can come to work with me is equality and get paid the same with me, well, welcome. Welcome to the games. It's, it's <laughs> that, if I had a woman, it's different for men because I wouldn't because that one. But I mean, if I was the opposite way around, mate, I'll happily do that. But I'm a man and we don't look for women to look after us and put us at home. No, 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 no. That's not something we do. Those other men do that. So... Men, we build buildings, electricity, internet, airplanes, and women, we gave birth. And women, we give birth, so we're more important. That's funny. That is funny. That is funny. Most of the men on site have ki have, wi have wives at home and their kids. They come home to clean the house and food. Everyone's happy, I know. Um, construction workers, electricians, architects, plumbers, all these jobs will be needed regardless of advancements or not. Thank you. Like, I like the fact that people recognise that these 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 jobs are important because you know sometimes you walk up, you know, next time you're driving, you see these guys in, in their high vis and their big boots and their hats and stuff out in the cold, working on the roads because there's been a there's been a, a gas leak or there's the or the water leak. Well, the water guys are the worst because they'll let the whole thing <laughs> they'll just be chilling while the whole world flood up. But electricians don't. You know, they need to work straight away when there's a power cut. They need to get straight to it, you know? So many things depend on these men, you know? Look across the world, right? Look across the world. Some of the worst things are happening right now. <clears throat> you know, you're seeing, you're seeing people being bombed across the world, buildings, all types of things happening, right? You're seeing men there. You're seeing men, men. You obviously see women there, but you see men in the rubble picking up with their hands, you know, men have always been there, but sometimes we live in a world where we disregard what it is that these men, these men do. And it's men's mental health not. We need to tell these men, we appreciate you, we salute you, you know, we recognize you, 
you are important, your jobs are important. Without you, we wouldn't be able to do a lot of the things that we do. You know? And if you have, if you're a woman and you date one of these men, you know, show him your appreciation. Just say, I see you. Tell him I see you. Tell him I see you. He's going to say, what do you mean you see me? So I see you. It's like, what do you mean? What? What? I'm about to say, tell him I see you. And when he says, what do you mean? Say, I see everything that you do. For me, for us, for the family. I see what you do for your friends. Yeah. And I see what you don't do for yourself. He's going to say, what do you mean what you don't do for yourself? I'm going to... You're selfless. Tell him that. Show him that. You're going to say that men never cry. Huh. He might just shed a tear now. He might just shed a tear. He might just... He might just shed a tear. And that's a tear that I will actually let a man shed. Because at that moment, she let you know that she sees you. She let you know that she understands you. This is what it's about. Please never let anyone allow you to think that I... I, I hate women. It's crazy to think that I hate women. I love women. I do. And I want the best for them. I want the best for men primarily. But better results for men equipped to better results for women. That goes in turn for the children, for the local community, society, for the country, for the world, for the Lord himself. I do in God's work. I've said it before. I really am. They might not see it now, but they will see it later. Look at the time. Look at what we do. We put boards. Why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? We're doing this because... They are men that, that take a lot of energy from what we do. They are women that, we have women in the chat just speaking right now. Don't ever make them think that this is anything but about bringing people together. You know? Yes, a lot of women hate men, but I don't hate women, I love them. What am I, how can I hate women? What am I gonna do? What, you think I'm Rainbow Gang? Sorry, no, 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 I love me, I love me some women. <laughs> I don't play, I love me some women, God damn it. <laughs> you gotta play with me. I'm just very serious about what I'm doing. You know, I'm just very serious about what I'm doing. Yeah, Superfly's the big up for this topic, man. Yeah, man, thank you. Like, remember I'm the man them's voice. And, and you know, I think, uh, you never speak of, people think, I remember people talk about high value man. Do you ever hear me speak about high value man? Do you ever, have you heard me speak about it? I must, I must speak about women wanting a high value man, but you never hear me speak about high value nothing. No, I speak more about average men. <laughs> I speak more about average men than high value. Why am I doing that? I just talk about what women want. Yeah? But I don't say men, you should be out. No, I told men to go out there and become the best version of themselves, of course. Go to the gym, work on something, have a passion. Be working multiple workings, you know what I mean? You know, 60 hours a week of paid work, you should be putting in. Yes, you should be putting that hours, yes. And you can, you know, and then and on, working on other stuff. Yes, I promote that. I do. No, but why do I do that? I do that because because I know what men need to be doing. We as people have become selfish, yeah. Big up, Mutisim. The number of times I've been on a leaky roof in the middle of the night, middle of a storm, um, part, part of parcel of being a builder, especially in my early days. Like, and why are you doing that? You're probably doing that because that has a family in there. It's probably got a late, a woman in the home. And you have to, and you don't want her. How many times have you done a job and you've had to do, like, you've probably done a little bit more than you need to do or worked harder or, or, or done a better price just because you looked at that woman and you said, you know what, I want to be there for her. And you don't know her. I know, I know so many tradesmen that do this because oh, like, we want to help, especially men that were raised by mothers or if you had single mother, when you see a woman struggling, automatically you want to help her. Automatically. I don't know what, how many, I don't know how many men would not want to help a woman that was struggling. Like, I spoke about yesterday about giving that girl my coat and she not giving it her enough. <laughs> don't make me get back. They're going to tell me you're not getting your coat back, child. Yes, I know I'm not getting my coat. I know I'm not getting my coat back. I know, okay? But I'm never giving a girl my coat ever again. Never do that again. Five hundred pound coach, you run off with it, guys. That's the link to join the stream yard if you want to join in. Why don't women respect hardworking men anymore? <sighs> I don't know, man. Maybe they gassed up by social media. I don't know, man. By society, I don't know, man. 
I can't tell you why women don't respect hard work, man. I can't tell you, man. But what I can tell you is still be... No. Not all women, no. Like, you know, women still respect hardworking men, but there's a certain type of women I don't think necessarily want that. And in reality, the reality of having a hardworking man versus not having, like, when you get one, a man that's going to provide for you, but he has to work more all the time, sometimes the reality is different from the fantasy. If you get a man that actually provides, chances are he's not going to be around a lot of time. Then you're going to get women say, oh, he's not around oh, he's this, he's that, that, but he has to work. So a lot of women have a fantasy that men will just be there rich and not do anything. But a lot of the time, the reason why men are rich is because they do things that other men won't do. The reason why men are successful is because they they work in harder than the most average person. Um, and, you know, a lot of times people don't understand that when it comes to relationships. You know, if you get yourself a successful man, there's a reason why he's successful is because he's not chilling. Women don't respect hardworking men because they don't work hard. How can they respect something they know little about? I mean, them only fans girls telling me they're always working hard. They like them OF girls say they be working hard. They be like they're entrepreneurs. I don't know. Them OF girls tell me they're entrepreneurs. That's what they tell me. Them OF girls tell me they're entrepreneurs. That's what they tell me. I don't know if that's true. But they tell me they're entrepreneurs. So, do you guys want to give me some? Do you want to, let's fill up the board. You know, I like to have a full board. Let's give me some jobs that women con- women currently do that haven't got on the board, and give me some jobs that men do. We'll just fill up the board. We're not going to worry about the stats of the men that do it or the the, the income, unless you unless you do the job or you know the income you want to tell me. We're not going to go searching. We're going to just throw up to fill up the board. So on the left. Please add some jobs that men do. If I if you if I haven't put it on the board, then I will do. Please give me some suggestions, please. Um, I said Elon Musk doesn't take vacations, bro. Give me some suggestions, please, guys. Thank you. What? Any? Give me some suggestions, guys. On on the board. On the board. Or is the board filled up? This is this is for class. Is the board filled up? You haven't got suggestions for me. Class, class. I need you guys in the chat, guys, to pay attention, please, when I'm speaking. Please. We need some jobs that are not on the list. You guys are really being not you're not being what have I got now? Um, firefighter. Firefighter. Firefighter, firefighter. Um, is it firefighter? Mm. Yeah, I suppose. We don't need no damn police, but we do need firefighters. Car. Firefighter, we need, yeah. We don't need no damn police. But we need people that can put out fires. We need people that can put out fires. Because it's a zombie apocalypse and it's going to be going down, so we need some people that can put out fires. Guys, that's the stream your link if anyone would like to jump in. Yo, Nish, what's going on? If you want to jump into the chat, please you use the link down down there in the bio and it'll get you into the live stream. We're not streaming, but this is just so you guys know what we're doing. It's all on YouTube if you want to watch the full screen. Thank you very much. Firefighters, what else? What else? What else would be needed in the zombie apocalypse? Firefighters. Let's fill up the list. Any what jobs could women do? What jobs could women do? I was waiting for that. I was waiting that. Thank you, Cam. Thank you. Gardeners to grow your food. Now, these are jobs that we need. We need. This is what we need. Gardeners to grow your food. Gardeners. That's what we need. Gardeners. 
quadrants grow your own better grow your own okay that's good so along with those guys yeah grow your own I don't think we had electricians on here. I don't know how we missed it, but ele electricians, because we're going to need electric. Let's just put them on there. We need electrics. And if we've got the electrics and we've got your, the gardens to grow your own, we can have our own garden and we can grow. Okay? So. That's good, thank you. Let me put a little Z by that. The Z stands for the zombie apocalypse. Those are the jobs that can go. But you can clearly see almost every single job that men do currently is needed. Over every single job that the men do currently is needed, right? But with, out of the, the whole list of the women, only two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Out of a list of 11, only three is needed. Literally, three is needed. But as you can clearly see, literally the whole list here is full of Zs. Versus, like I said, what the hell do we need a legal secretary in a zombie apocalypse? Handing carpenter, we've already got carp we've already got that construction, we've got carpenters and joiners, we've already got that already. You're late to class. Um Butchers, do we need butchers? I don't what do you, what do you want to eat zombie meat. Why do we need butchers? Butchers, I don't think we need butchers, bro. I don't really think we need butchers. I don't think we need butchers. I think man's gonna cut them up. I don't need a we don't, we don't need a butcher in the end of it. No, we don't need a butcher. We don't, we don't, we don't. And we don't need project management to organize the man. We don't need that. This is sounds like the jobs that the women do. Legal secretary, we don't need that. Personal assistant, we don't need that. Teaching assistant, we don't need that. Therapist, we do not need that. Daycare, we do not need that in the zombie apocalypse. You're going to look after your own kids. <laughs> because if you leave your kids with someone else and the, and the teacher turns into a zombie on bachelors, your kid, that's it. You don't leave your kids with no one else in the zombie apocalypse. We don't need daycare. We don't. We don't. More suggestions, please. What jobs do, do we need in the zombie apocalypse will be needed? Well, what jobs do we need? Anyway, and I'll tell you what jobs have you missed and I'll tell you if it's needed in the zombie apocalypse. Just tell me the jobs that I've missed out there. But we don't need any butchers. Mid midwife. Now, we've got nurses already that comes in the nursery. So, we don't know. That comes in the nursery. So, the midwife's already there. Try again, try again, try again. Try again, we don't need no midwives. We don't need any midwives. We don't need any midwives. What's the next one? Let's fill it up, guys. We've got a few. We've got some. I know most of the jobs that the women do are pointless in the in the zombie apocalypse, but it's not my fault. You guys have said it that. Like, so so the men that built the world, let's go. Mm -hmm. So we've spoken about the jobs that are needed with, with a little Z. What else? You're finding it hard now, aren't you, Cam? Cam's like... I'm sorry, that, but we can't do nothing. That's going to help. <laughs> I mean, you're a woman, Nish. Give me a suggestion. Give me a suggestion. Give me a job, Nish. Like, what? You're trying to say you can't do anything? We've got housekeepers that includes food so the the jobs that there will be <laughs> the jobs that you will be available to do in the zombie apocalypse is being a nurse housekeeper or a gardener these are crucial jobs right now in the zombie apocalypse yeah this is what's needed technically these these jobs were still needed in the in the <coughs> cough cough of the last few years we don't say that because of the algorithm but Nurses were working, you were clapping for them every Thursday. Yeah. Housekeepers were still working because cleaners and cooks were still working. It was cleaners and because of the, the hotels and all those places that were still in the, the hotels, right? Um, and gardeners, 
because we were still needing fresh produce. And especially the people that had the farms, we needed eggs. Remember when the eggs run out and they had to get farmed, they had to get eggs from the farm. So already you've already seen these jobs were the jobs that we needed during the last few years. And they're also the jobs that will be needed. So women, all these other jobs that you do, basically they, they're just pointless. They only, and then you discovered how pointless they were when the last few years happened and you couldn't leave your house to go to work. And if you did any one of these jobs, they were pointless. Daycare, there was no daycare because everyone's kids was at home. There was no daycare. No, day, no, legal, sec, no legal secretaries. You know what I mean? Dancers and choreographers. What were you choreographing? Who was you dancing? Nah, no one needed that. People at home eating. Picking up, drinking, getting drunk every single day because they were getting furlough money. It's all pointless. They weren't needed. Someone said women can do weaving and tailoring in the apocalypse. Yeah, that's the job that's needed. But I'm saying... What is that fashion? What does that come under? under what does that come under? Pause. Weaving into what does that? What's the? What is that? What is it? What's that? So, what would we call that? Weaving and tailoring, or weaving and tailoring, or tailoring. Um, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, I'll put that. I'll put tailoring, yeah. Yeah, I could I could do that. Tailoring. Tailoring and weaving. Yeah, I can do that. Put a little Z by that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, cl yeah, you're going to need that in the end. I don't know how important it is, but I suppose you're going to need that. Seamstress, that's it. Seamstress. Seamstress. I was looking for the name. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Seamstress. That's what we need. Yeah, you're going to need that. End of the world time, you're going to need a seamstress. You're going to need a seamstress. You're going to need a seamstress. That's the one. So, yeah, someone got to cut your loincloth to size, bro. Hey, you guys are taking me medieval. Man said loincloth. Bro, I said zombie apocalypse. Why can't I have tracksuit in zombie apocalypse? Why, not, why have I got to be wearing a tunic? What have you guys, what have you guys done? You've <laughs> why are you trying to put me in some... You think I'm, I'm, I'm... What do you think, bro? I'm robbing up Loxley. What's going on? <laughs> hey, why can't I just wear... Why can't I wear trainers and that and a tracksuit? Just be all blacked out. With zombie apocalypse. Me, I'll have me... I have me a good, like, you know what I'm saying? That like ramble, big blade there, couple straps there, I like cock there, everything. Then I'll have me armor, they can't get to my neck, they can't get to me there. Got to be, yeah, trust me, zombie apocalypse, I'm moving. So I'm saying? I don't care who you are, family or friend, if you get bitten, pow, that's it, it's done. I don't, I don't, I don't care. If, it, if you get bitten by one of these, that's it, zombie apocalypse, you're gone. Um... Nah, let me. That's the least of your worries. <laughs> Someone gotta cut your loincloth. Nah, you gotta just you gotta be loose. You can't be you man are trying to nah you gotta be loose. You gotta be loose, you gotta be loose, you gotta be you gotta be loose. Yeah? So tailoring, weaving, seamstress, that's the job. Do men do hairdressing barber more than women? Um that's a weird one. Barber industry is men. Hairdressing industry is kind of men too. Weird, isn't it? Like it's women. Hairdressing is women, but the, the, the really good hairdressers are men and probably and gay as well. So, But yeah, I don't know. But barber industry is like men, isn't it? You wouldn't go to, you wouldn't go to a woman to cut your hair, would you? That's weird. Um, but I suppose, yeah, but... Yeah, it's weird. A lot of women prefer men cutting hair as well. 
Not straight men. They don't want straight men cutting their hair. They don't believe straight men. They're gonna give straight men are gonna give you a fade, one level fade to the side, or a little parting. No, 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 no. You can't. Straight men can't cut your hair. Straight men can't cut your hair. Do men do hairdressing barber? I don't know, bro. But I like to go to the, no, like. But all my all the barbers in the barber shop, you don't get women that cut their hair in the barber shop. Not like that, you know. But you get women that do hairdressing, so it's slightly different, isn't it? Um, that's what I think. That's what I think too. Yeah. yeah, straight men are gonna give you a fade. That's what I'm gonna happen. Straight men are gonna give you a fade. What else? What jobs are we missing for men? What jobs? What jobs? Oof. Well, given the, what jobs we haven't put no police on them, we don't need no, no damn police. It's it's a zombie apocalypse. We police ourselves. We police ourselves, so there's no police in the zombie apocalypse. In actual fact, the police have got got eaten, and now there's a bunch of police that are zombies that are looking for us, so we have to kill them all. Um, so there's no police in the zombie apocalypse. There's firefighters in the zombie apocalypse because we need firefighters in the zombie apocalypse. End of the world. Out, out those skills like a fire star. Yeah. Yeah. No, we have to... Yeah. Have you got a doctor there? Yeah, we really got doctors because we've got nurses. Nurses. Nurses constitutes as not doctors. Yeah. Nurses. Nurses. That's nurses, doctors. So we've got that already. We don't, we don't win it because, you know, doctors and nurses, we just put that together as women. Because in the, in the end of, you know, I know doctors can be, you know, doctors can be women too. Nurses, so, but we're not going to focus on that because we'll just make it too much. So, we, so what else have we missed? Mm -hmm. We're going to fill up the board. We've got a few down here. Let's fill up the board. And then we're going to summarize it. Class, guys, please in the chat, please throw some suggestions, please. Let's keep, let's keep the chat going. Let's keep it flowing for the people that are going to watch this. Let's keep it going, please. Hmm? Have we got engineer for guns? We've got engineers already. So... Train marine engineers, we've got engineers. So engineers, they can handle all of that. We've already got engineers. Um, we've got engineers. We don't have to be for guns, just engineers. They can engineer. So we recognize that engineers are important, so we have them already, so they can engineer. Cars, what about cars? Mechanics, we have those already. Mechanics, we have those already. We have engineers, we have mechanics. These are the men that, that, that built the world. Shout out to French, you were speaking about the men that built the world, the types of jobs that are needed. Plumber, we have plumber already. Construction plumber, sewage disposable, mechanics, carpenters, joiners, metal workers, plump, uh, carpenters, uh, metal workers, like I said, plumbers, ma machine drivers, window fabricators, train marine engineers, truck HGV, firefighters, electricians. These are, all the, these are all the jobs we've done already. We put the average earnings and the percentage that are men, and these are the jobs, and most of them, are going to be needed in the zombie apocalypse. Okay? Yes, we do got everything. The backbone. And out of this whole list, we don't really have much for women to, to bring to the zombie apocalypse. So this is the point where you say, so because it's Men's Mental Health Month and we're highlighting the men that built the world, um, the men that sometimes people don't see, they wake up early, they put on the high vis. They're cold, they're outside, they're on the top of the roofs, top of the buildings, below the ground, taking toxic fumes, the men that do the roads. We need to highlight this as men's mental health month. We need to highlight this and we need to, you know, we just want to show these, give these men their flowers and tell them we understand their contribution to society. And if the world ended tomorrow, we would still need you, men. If the world ended tomorrow, we would need all of these men. I would need about three of you guys over here, women. We wouldn't need the rest of you. The rest of you, sorry, you, you won't be needed. The rest of you women are not coming on the ark. 
the rest of you women are not coming on the arc. I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. We're gonna have to, the, the flood is coming for you women. If you're not a nurse, yeah. If you're not a gardener, if you can't go on your own. If you can't cook, housekeep. And if you're not seamstressing and tailing and weaving, the flood is coming for you. The flood is coming for you. The flood is coming. I ain't gonna cap. I ain't gonna cap. If the flood is coming for you, that's what's happening. <laughs> the flood is coming for you. The flood is coming for you. I'm gonna drown. She says you're gonna drown. The flood is coming for you. The flood is coming for you. It is, it's gonna be a very big scenario. What else? What else can we contribute? What else? What else? Hmm? What else? What else, eh? I could do some jobs. Put three or fours on a woman list. Concubines. A man said we need to put oh we need to put OF. We don't need OF. Do we need do we need OF girls in a zombie apocalypse? What do we need OF girls for in a zombie apocalypse? Tell me, why do we need why do we need OF girls in a zombie apocalypse? Uh, the stream's about to, guys, the stream's about to end. I'm gonna let it run again because it doesn't mind it's fine. I don't mind. I'll let it run. You guys can hop across to YouTube if you want. But why do we need them in a zombie apocalypse? Tell me. Huh? In a zombie apocalypse, why do we need it? Put three or fours on the list so they can what? So they can service the man them. Have zombie babies. That's zombie babies. Fisher, what's Fisher? What's Fisher? What's Fisher, eh? What's Fisher? What's Fisher, eh? Keep the man them calm. Okay. Okay. But what about what was said? You can't. So what? But bro, I can't be. I can't be risking it. What she got bit by a zombie? A man gets it, and then she gives man zombie AIDS or something. Bro, do you know what that is? <laughs> You're gonna. <laughs> bro, are you nuts? You can't just be. No, bro, she's gonna turn into a zombie, but zombie coochie blood. She got the zombie cooties. Look, zombie babies blood. Fish that, as in catching fish. Nah, we don't need fishes, man. We don't. Zombie babies. Nah, we don't. We don't need no goddamn zombie babies. We don't need no goddamn zombie babies. We don't need no zombie babies. Go, give me some suggestions. We don't need no zombie babies. Yeah, I got you. Keep it off the list. Guys, please smash the like button. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Um, I take it everyone here subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, then you know you know what you got to do. you got to smash the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And if you want to join the membership, we have three separate tiers. For the first side, I'll pass up a cup of coffee. If you want to do that, please join. And on top of that, if you're enjoying the live and you're enjoying what's going on, you want to contribute to the live, please hit the super chat button and make a donation to the channel wherever you feel like it. You know how we do over here. Um, got a lot of love, you guys. So, yes, we're talking about in a zombie apocalypse, the men that built the world, the jobs that will be needed. You guys are trying to throw extra jobs now. Like, you guys are just trying to throw extra jobs now. She said a fisher, fisherman. Go, go. We, ain't, we don't need no fisherman. We don't need no fisherman. For some zombie fish. You can't eat this fish anyway. This fish might be zombies. Zombie fish. Because when I watched Resident Evil, the dog, everything, remember? The birds ate the zombies, so the ravens became zombie ravens, and then the fish became the zombie dogs. So you might have zombie fish too. You might just have zombie fish too. You might. What else? What have I missed? What have I missed, ladies and gentlemen? What have I missed on the list? What have I missed on the list? What have I missed on the list? And if you're wondering why the list is back to phone on Instagram, it's because 
we are streaming on a different camera so this is just to let you know what we're currently doing and if you want to watch it then you hop on the, the link in the bio and then you pop across and then you will see the stream completely on youtube that's what's going on have i missed anything gentlemen ladies and gentlemen have i missed anything it's class is this is this what we're going to do for classes have i missed anything yeah. When that built the world. Okay. I think it's a good list, guys. I think it's a good list. So okay, I'm gonna run it. I'm gonna run it down. I think we've. I think we've got the list. And on top of the list, um, we've also you know talked about the contributions that people do. So let's do it, guys. It's Men's Mental Health Month, and I'm outlining the contributions that. Men make makes the world, and on top of that, we're going to talk about if we was at the end of the world scenario, like in a few in the last few years when we couldn't leave a home. We all know what I'm talking about. What jobs were key worker jobs? What jobs were essential jobs versus what jobs got told that you didn't need to? Basically, you didn't need to go to work, and if you had one of those jobs, basically you wasn't, you know, contributing to the economy. Basically, they told you it was worthless. Some of those jobs. Do you remember they told you some of those jobs people going to go back and not have jobs? Do you remember? And at that point, you realise whether or not your industry was something or not. So let's speak about it. Let's go straight to it. So the men that built the world, construction workers, 99% of them are men who have an average income of 24k. They will be needed. Anything with Z would be needed in the zombie apocalypse um, in order to rebuild the world. Plumbers. The, their average income 41k a year with 98.5% being men. This whole this whole section here is men, so as I read it out, this is all men. The mechanics, 99.9% of them, they on average earn 37k. Carpenters and joiners, because we're gonna need those, 98.9% of the men with 42 in average income. Metal workers, because I told you you're gonna need to, you're gonna need money that are gonna cut, cut you off some blades, some sharp ass blades, so you can cut off the zombies' heads straight. Joker man, that's what you're gonna need. So they will hundred percent needed, right? Plumbers and heaters. This is the zombie apocalypse, end of the world scenario. Like and it's there's no power. You need men that know how to how to create heat. Yeah, they might need to create their own heater. You know, do you know how to create heat from that? Do you know how to do you know? Do you know? We'll see, but do you know how to do that? No, I don't think you do. You're gonna need these guys, bro. So I'm saying to you, let's check your command. Yes, Jamie, my brother, yes, check your command. End of the world. Like you have to be, it's hand to hand, hand to hand comp. It's end of the world, hand to hand scenarios. Straight Duke, man, right? Um, uh, yes, machine drivers. No way, machine drivers. This is not just only people that are needed in the in the zombie apocalypse, but machine drivers. They they earn a little bit lower, twenty four k a year. Was ninety seven point eight percent of them being men. Window fabricators. They earn about twenty eight k a year. Ninety six point four percent of them being men. Train marine engineers. They earn 45k a year with 92.3% of them being men. They work on ships, they work in the yard, so that tends to be a heavily male-dominated do industry. So um, that's the reason why. Okay. They will be needed in the zombie apocalypse because they're engineers. See what I'm saying? Everybody's watched a good zombie movie. You know you get to the you know you, you have to fight off the zombies and you get to the beach and then there's a boat and you need to, you know, you need to you know, you know, you know, steer the boat, charter the boat. You don't have to fly, you don't have to drive a boat. Zombie engineer, you need one of those. You need one of those boat engineers, you need one of those. Um, <clears throat> train marine engineer, truck HGV drivers, they earn 38k a year. Now, guys, listen, in the zombie apocalypse, you're going to need the guy that can drive the big truck. You're going to need it because sometimes you might need to have your whole operation in the back of a HGV lorry, keeping it moving, tucking it through. You're going to need a guy that can drive that. Can you drive one? Can you drive it, man? If you can drive a HGV lorry in the zombie apocalypse, you'll be needed. Didn't you hear? They were talking about during that, the, <coughs> in the last few years, they were talking about, oh, they wanted to, how much were they looking, they were recruiting HGV lorry drivers so they can deliver because there were no drivers, you remember? And they were talking about they're going to make 100 grand a year. 100 grand a year. That was letting you know that job is a key, that they needed those guys. Yeah, so let's pick up the HGV um, guys. Yeah, let's pick them up. So, why is the master everything okay back home? Everything's blessed up, bro. Um, yeah, and then firefighters. Listen, when it comes to the end of the world, when it comes to the end of the world, when it comes to the end of the world, when it comes to the end of the world scenario, you're gonna need firefighters. 
The boy's gonna be outside purging. It's a zombie apocalypse. We're gonna need firefighters. We're gonna need firefighters. I'm gonna need electricians. We need power. We need lights. We need power. We need lights. Very important. We need power. We need lights. We need electricians. We do. We need. We need electricians. We do. We do. Yeah. Essential. Highly essential. Big up all the electricians. It's Men's Mental Health Month. We need you guys. We appreciate you guys. So, essentially, the whole list there is needed in the end of the world scenario. Men. And, and and these jobs is needed is essentially needed. So so we're going to so we're highlighting that because it's men's mental health month and the men that built the world and also the, the backbone of the current society that we currently have. And it's quite important that we outline that the you know the men and like I said, the average men, most of us men are average men. So what's wrong with being an average man? Nothing. There seems to be a push in today's society where they try to make you think being average is wrong, there's nothing wrong with being average. Yeah. Um it's it's you know. Built for right. <clears throat> so then we spoke about the impact men have on the world, on our daily lives, during long hours, the sacrifices that men make. They go to war to defend the country, defend us at any given point. We have men out there that, that protect us, yeah? Protect our interests at home and overseas, these men, okay? These men protect your family. These men allow you to sleep at night. When, when, when you call the police, who do you expect to come? Do you expect, would you prefer um, a group of men or a group of women to come to your defense? Women, would you prefer, what would you do? If you called the police and you had a scenario and a bunch of women came, how would you feel? I'm just asking you. Would you do, when you think of calling the police, who do you think, or imagine, who do you, uh, in your mind, who are you envisioning coming to handle the scenario? So we spoke about the jobs that women do and the spaces they occupy, okay? Nurses, they would be needed in the, in the end of the world apocalypse um, zombie scenario because you saw in the last few years they were clapping for them every, every, every Thursday and they were needed. So women would be needed. Women would be needed. Um, women are very essential. They'd be needed. So nurses occupy 97.8% of the nurses and they, and they earn on average 37 point, 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 yeah, about 37k a year. Legal secretaries, they earn 96.65% and they that so they um, average 96.65% and they earn roughly 23k. We don't need legal secretaries in the end of the end of the world apocalypse. We just don't. But someone tell me why we need a legal secretary when the zombies are coming and we need to defend up like what do we need a legal secretary for? I don't know. What's she gonna do? What's she gonna do? Is she gonna sue a zombie? What's she gonna do? What's she gonna do? What's she gonna do? Get your claim? Oh, she's gonna say, Oh, I'm gonna get your claim for them biting you. <laughs> you don't need legal secretary. She's got out of jail. Medical secretary. Guys, we need nurses. We don't need administration. Yeah? Okay? So, big up the nurse, um, um, the medical secretaries, they have 94% uh, women and they average on 24K. So, we would not need them in the zombie apocalypse scenario. We just would not need them. Let's be honest. You don't need, you need the nurse. You don't need the nurse's secretary. What's she going to do? She's ex out. Sorry, she's not coming. Daycare. Um, daycare workers, they average, they earn an average thirty five k a year because you know daycare is good business. People spend a lot of money to have people to look after their kids. Um, but let's keep it real, and that has a ninety four percent rate of women is rounding it up. But let's be real, end of the world. No one is. You're not giving your kids a cross to anyone else to look after them, so they can. Your kid gets bitten at what daycare. End of the world scenario. Everyone looks after their own children. We don't. You don't because if your child goes and turns into a zombie child, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? So, end of the world scenario. We don't. We don't. No. 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 Daycare. You don't. You don't come. Personal assistance. This is. I remember these. If we spoke about the top jobs, right? What do we need a personal assistant? Remember when when you couldn't work for the last few years because of your job? Personal assistance. No one needed you. No one needed you. That job was invalid. They're not needed in the zombie apocalypse. You will get left behind. Teaching assistant, this is getting ridiculous. In a zombie apocalypse, you're not having no one teach you. You are teaching your kids how to, basically you're teaching your kids how to survive. You're not sending your kid outside, right? No teaching assistant. Therapist. Okay, I'm having a stressful day. I've had to cut down a couple of zombies, duck down a couple of men. I'll, I'll be honest, I want to tell my therapist, listen, listen, it was my girl, you know. I, like, I've been with for five years, man, and the zombies came, and then a bit of what happened, I had to cut off her head today. God damn! I know, man, I'm having, I, 
You feel me? We don't need no therapists. We don't need no therapists to be talking about my problems during the during the no zombie apocalypse, end of the world scenario. We don't need any therapists. Therapists is not coming. Housekeepers. I I forgot about housekeeper. Then Summer said, Summer said that the housekeepers need it because they clean wait and they cook. And I was like, yeah, housekeepers cook, right? So housekeepers have an 89, 89.4% rate of women. They earn a lot lower. Um, they earn 21K a year. But they will be needed. They would be needed, okay? If my kid gets hit bit by daycare, I'm getting that legal assistance. <laughs> oh, I said, listen, he said if his kid gets bit in daycare, he's getting the legal assistance to sue them in a zombie apocalypse. Like, you're funny, you're funny. Give me a joke. Um, dancers and choreographers, 89.4%. So dancers make about 25K a year. Um, with choreographers was making about 35k a year. So all you people that want to be dancers, that love dancing, I can't lie, you're going to be on your feet dancing a lot and you're not going to make that much money. It's going to be real. It's not going to be the most amount of money. It better be a passion. Obviously, if you blow up on Instagram or one of these social media platforms, then you can use that to monetize and become way more successful. But on average, that's what you're going to earn. We spoke about World War II because some women said, oh, but women worked in factories in World War II. And I said, yes, they did. But only 28% of women worked in the factories those times then. And how did they get paid? They got paid in rations. So it was different times then. They had to go, they got paid in the rations. So big up all the women that did that. Um, and yeah, and then we spoke about the gardeners, grow your own. That was a very good point because in the zombie apocalypse, we're going to need people that can grow fresh food. And when you saw in the last few years when you couldn't go outside to work, the, the farmers and anyone that grew food, we still had fresh produce and we needed eggs and all that type of stuff. So those people always throughout any type of crisis, those people continuously are needed. So big up all of you people. Um, and tailoring and weaving, they said we need a seamstress. They said we need someone that's going to, you know, tailoring and weaving, we need a seamstress. That's what they said we need, right? So guys, the men that built the world along with the women. So we've only needed like one, two, three, four out of this whole list of, of things that women, but essentially every job that a man does, like the like these basic jobs, fundamentally built society and keeps the systems running. And if you have these things running, you can have a functioning society. You know? But a lot of these men are not seen. A lot of these men are high vis men. A lot of these men are, are hard hats. A lot of these men have facial covers. You won't see these men. They wake up before you. They're outside. You don't see these men, but... These men are the ones that built the, the current world, um, the, the, the current uh, modern world. And the main thing is, is saying to women, particularly, if you do have a man that's in any one of these sectors, please just show him your appreciation. That's it. You know, that's it. So, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this evening's um, class. You know, if you if anyone wants to jump on the live, you can. But I think I'm going to I think we've done a good class this evening. and I've got some good points. Um, the full live is going to be on YouTube straight after. Please like the video, like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel, turn on notification bells. We have three separate memberships. You want to join a membership first starts at the price of a cup of coffee and you get exclusive membership access behind. And on top of that, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, turn on notification bells. And yeah, guys, you know, tomorrow we're going to go live again. And what's the class tomorrow? What's class? What is class tomorrow? I'm going to, I'm going to check. I'm going to check the notes and I'll let you know tomorrow what the class shall be, but we shall be going again tomorrow. My name is, my name is China. I'm the man in the voice. Um, thank you to everyone. Let me just shout out to, to Instagram and that. Big up Instagram. Thank you. And yeah, big up everyone in the chat, chat gang. Be back again tomorrow, yeah? We out, yeah.